Look, I've learned that you can't let animals touch technology. Yeah. Because they don't can't even open it. a laptop. I know. <laughs> we all evolved from monkeys, but you, you probably devolved. <laughs> Welcome to the 1423 TV the podcast. I'm your illustrious, most smart and intellectual member, Stop. Chase. The most melanated. No. Sauce. Nigga, I'm darker than you, nigga. I'm more well, melanated. That's my saying. Shut up. <laughs> hey, yo, you ain't got no sauce. You lost in my sauce right now. Boy, what? Hi, I'm that's Tevin. That's so my saying. Nigga, you stuck. Nigga, I'm. What? Now he started the melanated thing. But he ain't melanated. That's the thing. Yes, I'm wait, melanated. Wait, Shaq, we all melanated. Okay, but I'm the most melanated. melanated. You said the most melanated. Yeah. I'm still, most I still melanated. made that same. <laughs> Listen, bro. What the? Hey, look. Sauce Malone, look. You took two people's names. Sauce Malone. You took two people's names. You stole two things for two different people. I made that up. Hey, at least I made mine up. Hey, you. What's the origin? Sure, that's a nigga named Dark Sage in the anime somewhere. What's your What's your uh, origin of the Dark Sage, bro? I always want to ask you. I don't know if I have, but what is the origin of the Dark Sage? Oh, because when I was watching, this is when Naruto was going against Pain. Uh This is when they were trying to form the Sage mode. Trash. Boy, that 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 arc was fire. I don't know what you're talking about, but basically. A sage was like this most like this powerful person, and then when I looked up the term sage, and it's like another anime, it's like this wise person. So, sage wise, sage I'm on my friends list on uh, PlayStation Three. Stop it. Hey, but is he the dark sage? Hey, it says dark sage, nigga. No, hey, no zero one two, no none of that. Hey, it don't say that on mine either, cause I didn't put that as mine. On my, I made I made my PSN before I made the dark sage up. Hey, look, me, I didn't look to nothing else for the Dark Sage. You, you look to your rapper Sauce Walker and Post Malone, put them together through the fusion technique, made Sauce Malone. You don't even have your own identity. Hush. Wow. See, look. Look, he's not even, he's not even his own man, and both those rappers don't make good music. Like I said. You said, hey, what? They both not good artists. They don't make good music. Boy, Post Malone, go hey, Post Malone. Hey, Post Malone. He way had, more numbers than any of your artists. Hey, guess what? He's white. Don't, don't forget matter. that. Hey, don't matter. He do way more numbers. He do way more numbers than a lot of white. Hey, where's Asher Roth? He white. He, 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 y'all he's still doing better than him. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, right Asher Roth went back to college. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look, he ain't doing better than all y'all artists. Asher Roth. Post Malone doing better than all your artists. Asher Roth had... Asher Roth hey, had a uh, Both white, both sell. Asher Roth had really some fire, bro. Shit. Did he sell on his last? He album? had the most. He was the most selling, biggest al- uh, album. Yes, he was the highest selling artist last Jack, year. Just stop. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Drake. No, was. Eminem was. How much he had? I don't know. He was the highest he selling artist. On his side. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? He was the highest paid uh, 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 rapper, bro. How are you gonna be the? Number I mean, high. Uh, he had the uh, biggest he had the number. Highest sales last year. Yeah, he did. It's Eminem, bro. He has manga on his side. When somebody say they support Trump, but even they don't care if their favorite rapper talk about Trump, they still gonna listen to his music because they can separate the artist from the music. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just hey, saying. Shaq bro. got proven wrong. Hey y'all. Hey look, Shaq, you just don't see it through my eyes. Hey y'all. You just don't get it because you don't know how I feel about it. Mm-hmm. Somebody get these niggers out of here. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, using a hard R. Boy, using a hard R. Security. Outside the door. Keep talking. Oh my Wait. god. Let's let's get into this bag as Jorge reach into his bag. Hey, you four <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, nah, he pulled the old notes up. I, I, I want to talk tell. about uh you you seen the Tory? The Tory and uh, uh the, Don Q joint? The Don Queer. Mm. I mean I heard yeah, the Tory just I didn't hear the I didn't hear the Don Q diss. I heard he like, had two of them. He put two of them. It's like it's like Q had bars, but Tory had the quotables. He had the funny lines, and he was just you know what I mean. He brought Tory can have he was just chilling, bro. Yeah, he, he can rap. He had. I'm just saying, like when you, it's like when you come with battling, you, it ain't all about bars, bro. Sometimes you just gotta have them hitters, bro. So, Tory, and Tory came with the better song, and the more the I mean, more things. Tory's like, wow. gonna come with the better song. It's Tory. Yeah, but but I don't know. I just I, but uh, anyways, I, I say he won it. He won both of the little beefs he was he in so far. If I go bar, 
And he put out two tracks and Tori put out one. I still won't put it at the top. Wait, when, so he put out the other track. Dunk, you put out two. Tori put out one. After Tori dropped his, Dunk, you put out something. Dunk, okay, so what about the little snippet he showed? Uh, you know how Tori did his freestyle on Flex? And then Dunk, you did his freestyle? Yeah, that it showed uh, Tori did his freestyle on Flex. And then Dunk, you did his freestyle on Flex. It showed, uh, it showed Tory, like, content. Yo, Tory, yeah, that was, like, two years ago when Tory took his little bars. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we, I, we it wasn't really nothing. We know, we know Tory bites stuff, and he say I steal from all you niggas, and I do it better than y'all. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of things Tory do, he can back it up a little bit, you know, like, no homo. But, uh, no, I'm just saying, no, no, I'm just saying, it just sounded a little fruity. But, um, one thing about, uh, Tory is Don Q Project I enjoyed it Tories Nah His mixtape Yeah Uh his mix Uh his his he joint No his Wait when he released that mixtape Uh Don put out something this year I mean last year What time I don't remember It's like with him on the What you call it you know, What you mean Season 2 August 31st 2018 Yeah That was last year My bad You're on the same time as Astro World Mm-hmm. Damn, why well, I thought that shit was like in November, bro. Probably because you listened to it then. Huh? So <laughs> Probably because I listened to it then. Oh, yeah. No, it came out like a, f- uh, a few weeks after I showed Yeah. That's good. That's overshadowed. What you mean overshadowed? It's Don Q, bro. He could he could be. Ain't he a boogie shadow? Yeah, like any artist can outshadow a book. Uh, Don Q. Uh, artist's name. Hmm. Like, who said that? A lot of people. To listen. who? No, I think Tori said that to uh, Don Q. He's always mentioning uh, a boogie in like an interview or something. Oh, like it's not mentioning a boogie. I would say he uses it to get clout. It's just him and a boogie. I that's mean, his boy. Like, it's so it's if like you know, under a boogie's label, like they, yeah, hybrids, they grew, they like they, they really cool, and like they started the label together. If I'm not mistaken. Know, okay, but would you mention? They'll. I don't think he mentioned him all the time. People gonna mention him regardless, cause he's always with a boogie. And a, like it's like when you were Ace, if you doing an ASAP Ferg interview, they gonna mention Rocky. Or like how back then, whenever they talk about Walker, they talk yeah, about they Gucci. Gucci. They that's about just how that's just who you around. That's just how it happened. He can't, he can't control or that. Joe yeah, you can't, you can't control that. You just can't. That's just how it is. So, of course they are gonna bring that up. Yeah. But um, I know. Q has some bars, man. It just, I, I enjoy Tory track better. It's like when he put out that nah, I'm not Jonah. I was like, uh, yeah, you wildin'. That's why oh, I put I it in the group chat. That's why I put it in the group chat for like, yeah, because Jonah can rap. I'm like, all right, y'all gotta listen to this, but nobody really. I don't think y'all listen to it. I think Jorge, you listen to it, right? Dang, nobody listen to it. I listen to some of it, bro. Are y'all real hip hop fans? No. Why well, I'm the only one that listen to music here, bro? Because you're the music. Oh my god. Man. I literally told you the music aficionado. Come on, man. Y'all gotta or listen to this stuff. Uh, I know I ask me I know more about movies than him too. You think that? I know so I watch way more movies than him. He know that. I, don't know. I think both or, hey, both of y'all be on that movie shit, nigga. I just Chase, Chase, bro, probably. He's not, not he's, not on my, he's not on my <laughs> level. This Come on. Films with no uh, hey. <laughs> yeah. 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 And like, I no, I don't. Yeah, hey. Yeah, I got. I got shit, boy, be on the foreign. Boy, be be on the foreign section of uh, Netflix. Boy. Yeah, I got mad foreign and shit. But hey, man, it's a little. Oh, but nobody listen to that. Head, nobody listen to that. What's call it either? What? That Cuban doll joint. Not Cuban doll, but a uh, dream doll joint. She was on Tory. She was on Tory, man. She was on that nigga head. I liked it though. Man, yeah, she was on that nigga. Hey, but it's easier to That's get on the bitch. too far. Bro. Look, she went too far. She, she talked about that man's head. She talking about his hairline, bro. She talking. Yeah. Yeah, then she was hey, like, no, she, she get, no, she said you got a, she said you got a hairline that I put this pussy on your wig, nigga. <laughs> I was like, wow. I'm say the thing Hilarious. The oh, the Beijing. Yeah. But they told me that shit was all that her. And he switched to Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she was on. She was on it, but I know if Tory still beat, so it was like, all right, whatever. He still beat. <laughs> yeah, that. But Don she, Q. yeah, Don Q. Don, he's Tory's like he paid for it. Yeah. Tory said he paid for it because he paid for the feature and he for the for him to beat. But she said at the end, you can't even let a nigga uh, beat. You can't even let a nigga fuck for free or something like that. But she said she was liking Tory, so that nigga just got lame. He mentioned him. She was feeling Tory, bro. Tory is a cocky nigga, bro. Can be yeah. he does. I feel like I like came up, bro. like listen to Tory from like, like since like listen to yeah, listen 
listen to Tory from like oh nine to like now, like ten years later, and like seeing him seeing him like progress like first he was more of a rapper rapper he just rapped like Lil Wayne like yeah he used to battle rap I didn't know him you know those old clips that floated I seen a while back but like uh anyways I got introduced to him from like one hearse one verse one hearse and he was just going off people beats doing one verse on him and just going off but um just seeing that and then I was watching Sean C video and he was just showing like Tori was always like he was always hungry and he'll come at the anybody. So like it was just funny seeing him in comments saying, Yo, y'all like Drake on the Drake videos, like y'all like Drake? Uh check out his younger brother Tory Lanez. Like trying to get people to like I would and then, at least use the burner account. Yeah, he used his Tory Lanez account because he was young. This was like seven years ago, meaning he was he's twenty what six now, meaning he was like nineteen. So he he just used to you know, want people to get on his, you know what I mean, get on his wave. But he, like, it's like he wanted to be Drake, and then when Drake didn't show him the recognition, he dissed Drake, and now since Drake on his side, he's sucking the Drake's dick. You know what I mean? Like, he's all this. He says Drake this. He, before him and Drake made cool. Yeah, he was just talking. No, all like this. Drake, I don't want to beef with no, I don't want to beef with Drake at all. Right. Remember, he was like the scary on that Breakfast Club interview. But then he was just saying, like, then, he then he'd be throwing a shots, like, saying yeah. stuff about the six. Like, whoever say the six, that's corny. Well, he would just throw look, shots at Drake. He says that Tory Lanez uh, confident, confidently shoots his shot at Taraji P. Henson on Instagram. Wow, he shoots his shot at everybody. Huh? And she, and she wiped up? No. Don't she got a husband? She was wiped up. Well, well I didn't say wiped up, but she, she was. Nah, somebody yeah, wiped I don't, her. I don't care, bro. Taraji, bro. Hey, I'll fuck Taraji. That's that vintage. That's that vintage, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, she can get it, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, but what y'all think about Tory Anthony? Y'all think somebody's gonna put him in his place or what? Pull him in Tory. No, put him, put him in his place. See, this is the thing about hey, Tory. What? No, no, this is th- this is the thing about Tory. This is the thing about Tory. Nah, cause Push got disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Push, the Tory? like Tory did. Push, nah, Push. He digged up some dirt on Drake. Boom, he slapped Drake in the face. He was like, F the bars. I'm not trying to go deep. I'm going to say what I got to say. Mm-hmm. Hey, guess what? Uh, but Tori, he can roast. Tori is us. Tori is basically in our shoes. What we see and what the fans say, he sees all that and he yeah. uses it it's to his like advantage. Like a, you know, like he got like the younger audience. So like, he's going to go off that. It's like what kind of Drake did with Meek when so he had to. No, I no no I, 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 I said I probably at the game. I say him in the game. That'd be really good. Cause game like the. What's up? Yeah. Do you think the game this on Meek was uh, funny? Yes, that, right, like no, 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 he was going in, bro. He was going in, bro. All right, let me ask you 1942 me. freestyle or whatever. 19 it's some bars when he was. Yeah, he was just going. No, 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 that's no, Meek. It was yeah. uh. No, 1992 bars or something like that. Oh. When he was going in on a on me. Like, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's. He had two. He had two. He had two, but he had like two, a, lo- a shorter version and he had the longer version. He had the one, uh, what you call it, B2? The Young Mob. Oh, yeah, the Young Mob beat. Oh, the Young MMA beat. They yeah, he went out. Two yeah, two Pest Control, two bro. Two he two killed two. that shit, bro. All right, let me ask you this. So, you think them niggas dropping that shit like super fast mm-hmm. and you think that was fake? What you mean dropping it too fast? Because, like, bro, like. That's what. He that's, dropped his this. As soon as Meek dropped this, this, this nigga dropped this shit. That's like, that's what. All right, that means oh, you already. Niggas was like, oh, that's fake. That's not they fake. No, it's already in the tuck, bro. When you beef with somebody, you so gonna you record. Already, yeah, you got ammo, clip. like, bro. That's why. why that's why I push it, like. Yeah, that's why I push it, like. I'm ready, bro. Like, I got more. It's gonna be a surgical summer. He thought Drake was gonna come back, so he ain't finna probably finna drop a whole EP just dissing oh, Drake. Joe, it's like what Joe did. Joe had like four four diss tracks just going in. Boy, had a seven minute one. Like, like just Joe, going on. in on him. On. Drake didn't find a nothing. He just just DM that nigga. You good? Like, <laughs> it's just like, bro. He didn't want that bar fest though. Drake, hey, I ain't gonna lie, that first one was hard, bro. Then I, at, at, by the time I get to the fourth, I'm like, Joe, come on, like, you killing this nigga, just stop, bro. Like, you not finna get a response. Joe bro. No, Joe is super highly rated with his lyrical ability. Like, that nigga's like a top rapper, he's bro. Rated, but he's not recognized by the mainstream. Yeah, the mainstream audience. They just, we just know, pump it up. No, he's more known for basically like his. Oh, now stuff. media now, but, but I'm just saying, There's like. a lot of kids that don't know pump it up. Right. Yeah. Pump, pump, pump. But if you watch You Got Sir, nigga. Pump, pump it up. No, no, no. Nah, nigga. I remember NBA two. Oh no, NBA yeah. two thousand three. NBA Live two thousand three. Oh, that yeah, pump yeah. it up. DJ Clue yeah, was on that hoe. Yeah, came yeah. to get it on. The came to get it. On. Wait, that shit was funny, bro. But Joe kind of was barring niggas on that pump it up though. Like, you just gotta listen to the bars, nigga. Nah, I'd rather. Not. That nigga was barring niggas to death. I'd just... Hey, but but I don't know. I feel like somebody could put him in his place. I feel like 
if he tell like him and game go ahead and he tell game to suck his dick game gonna box this nigga bro like game hold one like his arms are bigger than that nigga like i'm just saying everybody remember when game beat up a nigga on, on uh just live on 40 Glock. yeah Nigga, I remember that video. Man, that video was classic, bro. Boy, that boy was holding the phone one hand and, and whoop him up with the other. That's, oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Footy Glock a bitch, nigga. Yeah. I'm like, how you getting beat up and running? I'm like, come on. Footy Glock. This guy literally basically has like one hand tied behind his back. How are you still losing? It's crazy, bro. Hey, boy was begging for his life. He was in like Frieza when he was when the, uh, Goku let, left him on the ground on damage. <laughs> bro, that was hilarious, bro. I don't know. Those, those yeah. times, bro, was like that's like when everything that's like what 2011 12 13 yeah 11 12 i don't think so bro i think i was in high school because i used to watch those four y'all entertainment videos i had to be a senior or a fresh out because like i used to watch those four y'all entertainment videos and they made a skit about it, it had to be 2012 or 13 one of those but bro it used to be hilarious but i don't know that's it's thomas like 9, 2012. yeah 2012 yeah see look Times like that is when, like, that's when Twitter was, like, at its best, bro. 2012, 11, Twitter was amazing. Because, like, you had, like, celebrities getting on there. They were signing in in, like, 09. Yeah. But, like, celebrities, like, Fabulous was funny on there. Like, so many niggas was on Twitter just wilding, bro. Like, 50 Cent used to be on Twitter. He don't be on there as much no more. more no, I'm saying he used to be on Twitter, though. That nigga's... Jorge knows some of his famous tweets, right, Jorge? Hey. Boy used to be on Twitter wild, man, bro. <laughs> but wasn't Fifty the one guy that we said in the, in the conversation that uh, he's someone that's huge but only has like one good album or like one classic? Well, he has one classic, but he has his second album is like bumpable. You can listen to it. Yeah, it's like, but it's he like still had, hits. but he still have hits. Like through that, through those days, he those bad albums. He had hits to like uh, Human Ambition or something like that. What's it called? Uh, and animal being am, Animal Ambition. That's like. That's like the fall of him musically, but like him uh, as like a mogul, him rising up, like him being more producing wise yeah, in films. Curtis, like, yeah, but I'm saying 50 still. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, that nigga going super skinny, dog. Oh, yeah, from that movie, bro. <laughs> that nigga thought he was going to get an Oscar, bro. They say, nah, 50, this going to go straight to DVD, bro. We ain't got the budget, and uh, nobody's going to pick it up. It's no Oscar buzz. But I don't know, man. Shout out to 50 Cent, though. Uh, he ain't us up, so we ain't doing that. <laughs> uh, what about Tory Lanez going at J. Cole? How do you feel about that? I you feel really, like, really yeah, it's like he's going at, he said he, had, he said he could take on the whole in Dreville. And if him and J. Cole beef, I'm taking Tory, bro. Like, J. Cole, wait, you bro, hold on, no, wait, listen, listen. Hey, all right, bro, who J. Cole beef with, bro? Just tell him. Simmons. Come on, bro. This nigga's go- <laughs> this nigga beef with Diggy Simmons, bro. Come on, dog. <laughs> nah, Jorge was telling me the other day. What? Uh, what did you say? You said Future and J. Cole have the same. I forgot what you said. What? Like what they, they use the same amount of words, just the same amount of different words. Oh, you talking about the vocabulary wise? Yeah, you said Future and J. Cole are tied for something. Oh. He was telling me the other day, but basically, like they don't, they don't you, they kind of like you don't use as much different words right. as they should or something. I don't get what I mean, he was tied with future on that song like that. Yeah. I don't know. No, basically saying vocabulary wise, J. Cole's probably not extensive. Like yeah. it don't go as far. Yeah. They say he's on the same level as future. That's what I'm saying, like when it comes to like bars and stuff. Like J. Cole say some stuff, but it just be like easy like bars. No, J. Cole's rapping became flat over the years. It's just like like Friday Night Lights is amazing. He can rap. But it's just like, okay, it ain't nothing like over your head. But that ain't what I judge a rapper for. But I feel like Tory Lanez can be at that level. J. Cole is more looked at as higher because, you know, he has these fans that I hate his fans, bro. Yeah, That's really what it is. Friends, his his fans, fans. Is like part of the top three, like the, the top three dope fans. Yeah, his fan is like, like cowboy. His fans like cowboy fans, bro. Like yeah, yeah. his fans are cowboy fans. They like delusional, bro. Like, hold up. Before we get into this discussion, we're going to bring on later in the podcast. I just want to bring up something like. Well, I can just bring it up later. But anyways, I just feel like Tori and J. Cole, song for song, Tori is going to murder this nigga, bro. Yeah. I'm Jay sorry. J. Cole, I don't know what he's going to do. Like, yeah, I feel like Middle Child was boosted. Like, I didn't like the way he 
part it out because like like a lot of people saying i thought we was gonna get some murderous like shit be something like how like how don q made i'm not joining right like i thought he was gonna, he's say gonna be name. like saying names going at exactly. people i thought it was gonna be like another control or something right like, but he did none of that it just was like something that looked like it want to be on the radio or something like yeah i don't know I don't see Adam yeah. Production wasn't that cool to me. They, nah. His rapping wasn't that good to me. Nah. And then when he tried to do the hook, I was like, nah, nah, nah. weren't really feeling it. I don't know. I feel like J Cole. Is on the nah, no, he's going. He's on the up, bro. You look how he. He's like, at the moment, he's in the public eye. He's dropping you feel like his. He's gonna dr- drop down at one point. I don't think I so. Feel like his momentum is just gonna shoot. Nah, because like he. J. Cole could disappear for two years and people still gonna discuss him. He ain't even fucking yeah. drop out. Uh, he ain't drop out for since when? Last year he Last dropped year. that one. K- KOD. Okay, you're right. You're yeah. Right, right. I'm gonna say, what? Nah, yeah. like, ever since he, he dropped he four. Dropped, no, he dropped like three, three albums. albums. Since like, like, last. Since he dropped uh, Forest Hill Drive, he been more like. Like, he disappeared for like two years, right? Like a year or two. Like, he put out Born Center in 13, Forest Hill Drive at the end of 2014. But it felt like he was gone for so long. Yeah. Then he dropped, at the Forest Hill Drive, he, he dropped Four Your Eyes Only. Easy. He dropped for your eyes only 2015 at the end or beginning of 16. One of those. I love the documentaries he be putting out with his albums though. When it comes to that, like for your eyes only had like three good songs I really liked on it. Yeah, so it's always like at the end of the year, and uh, and this time KOD he put it like in the middle of the year or like at the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning of the year, but. I don't know. I just feel like people like boost J. Cole. Like, I'm not discrediting him as a, a rapper, bro. He really can rap. But I just feel like people put him down. Like, I will take logic bar for bar from J. Cole. I think logic will take logic? I think logic will take that nigga. Jorge, what you think? I like Neil right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think logic could take that nigga J. Cole. Nah, for real. Bar for bar, like rapping wise? Nah, he's not better than everybody, but I feel like rapping wise, logic can hey, out rap. If they beefing, yeah. yeah. But like rapping wise, I feel oh, like Logic a better rapper. Yeah. Better than beef. <laughs> yeah. I love this. Like no, no, no. Because uh, what what y'all know about Tory? Tory can like Logic on those boom boom bap beats. Tory can fit right on that shit. Cause he just he's like chameleon, bro. Like he's he's like the game, bro. Like he can fit on a certain he can be on a beat and just fit that mode, bro. Like that's one thing about Tory. Like he's people say he's still in the style who he sound like, but it's like he do it well. So like you can't be like, oh, Tory did this bad. He did this wrong. Tori is talented, bro, and we can't take that from him. Like, the nigga's talented. You know? Like, he's really talented, man. But I'm trying to think. Only people I really can think that he, that'd be really fun seeing him going at it is the game. And he's an OG, game too. Push. push, I don't know. Because hey, I think. Push, push has some stuff in the tuck for Drake. Yeah. I kind of want to see what he had in the tuck. Yeah, but Drake. Hey, I kind of wish. Uh, what's that boy name? Jay Prince? He didn't stop that. No, nah, he didn't stop nothing. Jay Prince didn't say shit, bro. So. Pusha said what what Jay Prince Pusha talked about in the, you watched the Joe Budden interview? Yeah, was, Pusha was like Jay Prince didn't stop nothing, bro. Like I didn't even talk to Jay Prince. Like No, I thought he talked He said I his people talked Jay to Prince. Jay. Like he like he didn't stop Prince nothing. Talked to Drake. Yeah. yeah but, uh, man. Drake no, but Jay uh Jay Prince was saying he talked to Push people. Like you watch his interviews? I watched everything. I watched Jay Prince interview on Breakfast Club. I watched his shit on Sway. I watched he was on his old book tour. I didn't like it because Jay Prince when he was talking I'm like uh I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, I like Jay Prince though, but no, I'm not saying he's a bad guy. But when he was talking, I'm like, I'm like, is this how people view us Texas people? Because you know he talks so slow. No, no, this is Jay Prince, your OG, bro. I'm like, who? Like, you just don't mess with Jay Prince, bro. Oh no, I won't mess with him. But nah, like, his ranch, his ranch in Walla Walla County, that shit's oh, crazy. Ties, a lot of ties, a lot of ties. <laughs> that shit hard, bro. That shit hard, bro. <laughs> That's what I think he was talking to. Like, ain't no one in love, BW shit. I'm your brother, shit. Yeah, like Kanye. <laughs> it's too late for all that. Kanye, this, huh? Kanye, Kanye didn't diss nobody. The uh, the calm down your light skin line on uh. That was a while ago, and I don't think he was talking about Drake. Right, he's talking about Drake. Uh, it's a lot of light skins out there. No, that's no, when he was. That's oh. when. That's when Kanye on Ye, right? On Ye. The one that he, I thought he was talking about that, that the nine out of ten song. No, he's talking about the Kanye song. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's talking about the Yay joint. But you know, off Tory, bro. You know what I mean? Let's go on to let's shout out Future Man. He came, be, uh, Wizard became his what sixth album to go number one. Go. Hey, yeah, go yeah, talk. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna that's gonna be a little that's gonna. Yeah. 
that's gonna be a little short one. That was just a little quick hit, but then we could go into. I really want Jorge because Jorge said it was fake, but the. But I see he's doing his work right now, but we could get on that later. But uh, we're gonna get into what his chance is doing, bro. Did y'all watch the the uh, commercial? Yep, did not like it. And the commercial chance put out. The the. Yeah. What about you, Jorge? Did you like it? Shit was trash. It's Chance yeah. going down. I never. All right. Could nah. I tell y'all hit me? Could I tell y'all my thing about Chance? Go ahead. All right. I have nobody towards Chance. Me either. So all right. Okay. You know, remember the wave in like 2017, in the beginning or at the end of 16, when everybody was saying Chance is gonna be the next one, like the top uh, rapper, what's like what's that? Cool. Color Book. Yeah. That. When everybody's like, he's for the be, he's for the blow up like he's gonna be number one rapper blah 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 i don't believe it i never believed it i never seen it like i feel like he could be in that tier but like rapping ability subs like his i didn't like coloring book i don't really it wasn't the thing for me yeah like no 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 oh yeah i see it i saw it a lot I didn't see it because i didn't follow it got bad (laughs) that's all i'm saying right away Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> well, I'm just he's, hey, it yeah, just it just got it just got bad, bro. So I'm like, I like, uh, I mean, no, I ain't gonna say I like. I'm just saying, bro. I just feel like Chance is gonna be around, but he's just gonna be that likable guy. He's like a public figure now. Yeah, that's how I think gonna be. He gonna be doing like activist, awesome. like activist things and helping out people, blah blah blah. But but I don't know. But do y'all ever think Chance gonna have another big song? I'm pretty sure he can, but he put out those three little. He pro- I feel like he can, but I'm saying this like he put out those three little songs that didn't really do nothing. Like sometimes I check, you know, sometimes I, I follow a lot of rappers on YouTube. Like I know you catch can't catch things off YouTube numbers, but I feel like a lot of people go to YouTube to listen to their music. Like kids that don't have like, I'm saying like kid. Yeah, and that kid, you know how kids these days a lot of them don't really have spotify and like that so they watch a lot of stuff on youtube youtube videos and stuff like that so times I, I check out like rappers youtube channels and see the views they get and i remember when chance dropped those three songs bro shit wasn't moving like that bro. i'm just saying and then i feel like yeah i feel like genius just put him on that little you know genius rap thing just because but i feel like that song wasn't really moving usually when i see people on genius doing their lyric breakdown i feel like the song is doing some numbers on the internet like every person, like I'd be like, man, they hit like a million. But I feel like Chance shit wasn't even like up there when he mm-hmm. put him on there. It probably is now, but I'm talking about around the time like he put out those three songs. I feel like he did that before he put out the single, bro. Like that's how I feel. Cause like remember how Pusha T had the album and like next week he was on Genius. Yeah. I feel like Chance. Video. I feel like Chance broke down his lyrics before the this shit came out and they just put it out cause it's Chance, you know. So you think that Genius? No, I don't think they thought it was big. It's just Chance is a big artist. And Chance probably was on a little... I don't know. He probably hit him up about producing... I mean, about uh, promoting some new songs or whatever. And he did that. And then he dropped the single. But the singles... I mean, the three songs... I don't know if they were singles, Lucy's, whatever. But they didn't really move. That's all I'm saying. I, didn't care. I, don't, think, I don't think people were really worried about that. Much. Yeah, I don't feel like he has a huge fan base. I see a couple of people walking around with the three hat. But, like, that don't mean nothing. Yeah, I saw one in a Walmart, like, two days ago. Uh... Why yeah, he was a little Mexican dude with his girl, whatever. But um, but I feel like, whoa, high take. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man. Um, okay, it says six nine is testifying. Finally, boy. We gonna get back to that because I don't know much about it. Jorge, would you speak on that later when you're done with your work? And all right, cool. All right, so y'all, Yo, yeah, we could. T- this nigga to get out, bro. Six nine. I don't wish jail upon anybody, yes, and I don't want nobody in jail like that. You know what I mean? But like, I'm just not gonna well, say anything. Straight fraud. A lot of people fraud. Okay, I understand. What do you mean? Like this no, nigga no. was just this fake man of blood, and now he is being uh, you know, trialed as a gang member and shit, basically. You know, and now he don't want that. He don't want that smoke. He funded the gang, gang related things. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, bro, like, like, bro, you gonna, 
you going to claim yourself a blood and all this, uh, you know, what up, blood, blood, this, blood, that's saying blood and every after every word in your uh, your videos. And then when it comes down to it, you getting child as a gang member. You now, don't want to be. Now you don't want to be. Well, I beat Mill when he was like, I'm not no gangster. Something like that. I don't think he I'm was ever. Thug. But he wasn't ever trying to. And when was, was Meek ever trying to be a thug? He just, yeah. This is no, a nigga from the streets. Did Meek used to sell drugs and stuff like that? Yeah, but they don't mean. Selling drugs don't make you a gangster. No, but, no, but in the court's eyes, what would they see the word gangster as? Well, they look at us and we, they'll see a black yeah. person just going to qualify with that. But because just, a lot, I remember a lot of people back then was calling Meek for that exact same point, kind of. Was they? Yeah, but it's yeah. like, okay. Back then, because they, uh, Twitter, like, that's when Twitter was being savage. They was getting on Meek for crying in the court. He was like, I don't want, I'm, I'm not no thug. No, I'm not thug any, anymore. Any other person that was up there would have been crying, yeah. bro. Yeah, I feel yeah like but I'm saying, but, crying, but I'm saying to your point, you know, 6 9 ain't the only person that's done something like that. Yeah, but like only in 6 in Meek defense is like Meek I wasn't out. To, no, Meek wasn't out. Just, no, Meek wasn't out like uh like 6 9 and beefing with everybody, saying this, I fuck you up, fuck this person doing this, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. Six nine was like, like he's this tough dude, he blood gang, he's Treyway, he this, he that. He was just saying all this stuff, and then people were like, damn, okay, you t- you doing all this tough talk. Nobody trolled at his level at that time. Yeah. Meek wasn't out doing stuff like that. Niggas really clown Meek. Like, a lot of people that do that, internet, them niggas never been in the courtroom, they don't be knowing nothing. Like, I understand, you know, people want to fight for their freedom, but, like, people look at it and be, like, really desensitized to, like, 6 9 No, I like, get it, but I'm just saying yeah. 6 9 ain't the only one that's done that. That's all I'm saying. Like, nah, but in his circ, in his sin, in his his situation, yeah, he he we don't, I don't know nobody else. I just know six nine. Just I, put I, him I in his like situation. That. Oh yes, in his situation. But I'm saying someone that's pleading for their freedom. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. I know, but you brought up Meek, but it was totally different situation. Meek, like, bro, I'm not 16. I'm I'm still on probation for stuff I did when I was 17 years old. Like, I don't even live that life no more. I'm even not even like that. You know what I mean? But you look at six nine, his current state. He around shootings. He's on the phone with people yeah. uh, talking about shooting somebody, yeah, and it's it's totally different. So, so I don't you think see he was this guy to be thug, though. who? Meek? No, no, nobody was saying that. I'm talking when he was yeah. younger. He probably was in that situation. But Meek is like he was 28 or 27 when he done that. Like that's 10 years ago, bro. Like you are a totally different person. I'm not trying to be that person no more. Yeah. But you see six nine in the light, and he's still doing the same ways, like trying to act tough, being tough, having all these people around you being protected and then people gonna look at you like okay look at you now mm-hmm. but like i ain't the type of person to be like oh yeah go to jail die blah 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 that's just not me because i don't want nobody in jail or yeah, like that even though if i don't i don't know i don't, know nine, I don't really, really deserve it you know what i mean and like like rape or murder yeah and like we gotta really know they did it you know what i mean it's yeah. like i'm not gonna go around just calling six nine a child molester like if i don't really know you know what i mean but we know the situation you know what i mean yeah. but, but i don't know it's just how it is bro uh i feel like if you ever get in trouble with anything, this besides what six nine doing, I'm just saying like if let's say I got charged with a rape, but like I, I got acquitted, it. but I'm saying I got acquitted or whatever. I mean like people, I got accused for a rape, my bad, and then I get acquitted, but people will still be like calling me a rapist or say, oh he had a rape yeah, charge. Just like how they was saying that about Chris Brown, yeah, like how he got the fake charge, yeah, right, right, and that could just damage your whole career, right? Because the first thing people look up, they might see that headline or something. Right. And Chris then, Brown raped girl in France. It's like or Freddie Gibbs. Like the negative headline always get the pub, but like when when the uh when the positive positives come out, nobody really cares. They don't even get the big of a big yeah. deal just like what x was trying to say yeah so like when it come to like six nine i hey do what you gotta do bro you trying to fight for your freedom but i feel like if six nine get out he's not gonna be yes <sighs> i don't know what this era hey, is different would you snitch if he was in his situation in his situation would you snitch if i didn't if you're looking at life in prison but i think if he <laughs> if he snitch he's going into protection like six nine won't be a public figure anymore because he'll have to go into a whole because like bro you snitching Meaning people was already trying to kill you. Meaning you're, they tried to kill his mom. Meaning he snitch on some people. Meaning people are, people gonna get hurt. He gonna have to go in with the protection. He gonna have to leave. We won't know nothing about six nine anymore. That's all I'm saying. Like he will be, he will be out, gone. Like, and I don't feel like if he snitch, it's weird. I don't know. Probably in a different generation, like in the nineties or early two thousands, you probably couldn't snitch and get out and be still a big rapper. But I feel like six nine went through that now. You just never know with these kids these days. Like, they don't really care. And they'll be in the same situation. Like, hey, man, if you was in that situation, you do the same thing. So you can't fault him. Oh, see, I can't so. say that. I see life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, that's life. <laughs> yo, y'all not my homies? Yeah. <laughs> Get them out of here. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. But, like, 
It's just how they already was plotting to kill him, so he probably feel that way. Like, hey, yo, they was plotting to kill me. Oh yeah, they did that. Yeah. I, let me let me give you the textbooks on everything right. they did. You got anything to say about it, Hori? Would you snitch on your homie? I mean, not your homies. See in the okay. hood. See, but that nigga still staying in the hood. So, bro, like, that's in the hood? yeah. He he lives in the hood. With all that money he got. Yeah, he I wanted to though. I thought he still. He I don't know, but I heard that he still he still stayed in the hood. Well, that's stupid. And he don't, yeah, he don't. Like it's kind of like trying to money? keep up a fucking uh, a act, you know what I'm saying? Like he's he's trying to have that persona about him. Why? It's different if you don't have money. If you got money, I'm moving. Nigga, I'm gone, nigga. A hey, nice God, neighborhood, I here I come. Stay in the hood, bro. What's big pun? This nigga lives in the same house he came up in, like. Nigga had Rolls Royces and stuff all in his neighborhood, and nobody robbed him. And that's why people had so much respect oh, for him. That means he's that guy. Like, that's what that means. People just had respect for him. Bro, you can go look right now at videos of this nigga at the crib, rich as hell, kids with all types of stuff. Rolls Royces out. He still blocked, like, house to house, like, tight in the neighborhood and, and whatever he was from. Like, right there, bro. Like, still in that neighborhood. That's just crazy, bro. And he had millions of dollars. I don't know. I just thought that was wild. But I feel like then, I feel like, bro, like, I don't think I ever been that rapper. I would be that rapper that like be in the hood. I'm like, bro, you try to get out the hood. You don't want to be there, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? I you can you can show people, oh, it's a way out. You can go back and give back to your community. I won't say yeah. Especially as a rapper, I don't know if they have things in contracts. But my grandpa back in the, like 2014, you know, my grandpa was a Muslim. He used to send me like these final calls, like these newspapers and whatever. I used to read them. But then I found out this like going off kind of on the tangent or whatever. Go ahead. But I found out like when people like in the NBA or NFL. They in, in the contract you can't give a certain amount of money back to your neighborhood oh, to your I communities. I was like, Well, that's kinda it's like they try to have you to manage your money, but I'm like, you really gotta go into those like not the player but mostly the agents and people that, that, that handles their money. The stuff like that, yeah, in the contract. So I don't know, it's just I don't know. They, but they try to put the whole bad you know, outlook on the on the players and stuff, but like, bro, it's some of them contracts are fucked. I don't know. But six nine, bro. I'm not praying for you, but hey, do your thing, man. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you have anything to say about the six nine situation, Jorge? Nah, don't care. Makes sense. <laughs> um, Kim K meaning California governor. All right, she went to go meet him to try to get them to do what Florida did and like let convicts vote. Niggas was just saying she doing more for niggas than Black Lives Matter do. Is that how, do we all feel the same? Uh, I gotta know the details, but yeah, I don't know I too really much about story. it. But like Black Lives Matter, I don't. That's just like an organization that's funded by the government. It has nothing to do with Is black it? people. Yeah, uh, they put a f- people in the forefront. Like Denzel, what's his name? I said Denzel. Uh, McKenzie, what's his name? McKin- what's that guy name? D Ray. D Ray, that dude, like. I don't really care about them. Like, we don't even know who Black Lives Matter is. Like, we don't know no headquarters. We don't know nothing about it. So, I just feel like, I just, only thing I ride with Black Lives Matter was the same. I didn't care nothing about the, what they was doing. Because they really wasn't doing nothing. A lot of them was like, a lot of them niggas was snitches and, and, and. Coons? A lot of them are coons. And then, like, I remember I watched the whole Ferguson documentary and they changed the shit into a whole, like, freaking LGBT thing or whatever. It was, like, really weird, bro. Like, True. I don't really care about. Black Lives Matter, Kim, I'm like she probably is doing more for Black uh, than than that organization. I feel like a lot of people is. We probably is by putting out this podcast. Black Lives Matter ain't doing shit, but that's all I'm saying. Kim, that's cool, you know what I mean. But you know, do your thing. But uh, I feel like convicts voting sometimes when they do the uh, what was that? They they damn, I'm trying to think. I I gotta get back on that. I gotta do a little more research, but. I want to bring up something, but I don't know if it's a fact fact, so I'm not gonna say it. But yeah, that's cool. Mm, just to say you. it. If it's yeah. a fact, I no, know. it's not. I, I just like to draw facts, bro. I don't, know. I don't like to say nothing if it ain't facts. Uh, that's when it comes to stuff like that, because like I don't want, I don't want to go around like regurgitating something that's wrong. And then that's when you say, "I'm not sure, but yeah, that's I I'm heard." Not gonna, that's why I'm not gonna say it. Well, factual. <clears throat> I don't know what to say about this. It kind of uh, reminds me of like the slave thing with the like, slave trades, but that's that's all. I'm like slaves, like uh, just, it's cool. <laughs> I don't know too much about this situation, but uh, it sounds pretty cool. You know, power to the people, or whatever. So, mm-hmm. I yeah. Shaq, you got anything to say about this? Man, I have nothing. Man, 
mate. No. <laughs> I was like, mate. Oh, oh, yeah, mate. Movies, anime, television, and entertainment. Ooh. Let's go. Chris Tucker confirms Rush Hour 4 is a go. Yeah. Is anyone hyped for this? Oh, so what's it called? Still in there? Jackie Chan? Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, so, I don't. You want to hold the mic? I mean, it's not gonna. It's gonna be something real. I don't know, man. I mean, it's kind of hype, but it's like, damn, bro, y'all wait this long. I mean, what about Bad Boys Three? I mean, I I don't know, but I mean, we gonna see how Bad Boys Three is, bro. I still feel like dog, like y'all waited. Every, what about coming to America too? <laughs> all these, all these the same sequels thing. coming out too far. Yeah, like they took they took too long, bro. Like you know, I heard they was doing like the Friday shit too. You know, you know. Yeah, last. But Friday. like, damn, bro. Like they've been, they been talking about that for a while. They have, bro. And they've I feel like for a decade. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been a decade. Yeah, it's been a while. Bro. Almost, I don't know literally, but it just feels that long. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. I feel like, for, okay. Number one, the other Fridays, I know this is off subject, but the other Fridays was good, but I feel like they're not going to be as good as the first one without, uh, yeah. And, you know, he ain't on board because he feel like you, why retrace the past, you know what I'm saying? Is that what he said? Yeah, he was just like, that's not me no more. That's what he was saying. He was saying that in like a stand-up thing, I remember. Oh, the Netflix special? Was it an Netflix special? I, I believe so. so yeah. He said Ice Cube yeah. came to him and he was Im- imitating Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. I, believe, I, I seen some of it. I didn't watch all of them. For the other movies, man, I just feel like it's outdated. I mean, like, I mean, I might be more excited for Bad Boys 3 than anything, but, I mean, shoot, we're going to see. I'll be more excited for uh, Bad Boys 3. I really have no anticipation for e- either of these movies, though, so. Uh, I feel like uh, just some Boys some things. Too? Nah. <laughs> Ricky can't get shot again. Ricky dead. Ricky dead. Like oh, it's, just, it's just two Ice people. Dead. Yeah, he died. He got killed. Yeah. I feel like Rush Hour Four should be Rush Hour Three. I feel like they shouldn't have put out that third one because I feel like they didn't put out that third one. This it would have been like the feeling of like Bad Boys Three. Even though Bad Boys Bad Boys is more of a bigger known series and it probably it's gonna make more money. Everybody know that might make over. I'm just gonna do my guess. Y'all think it might make over six hundred million? Six hundred million? Will Smith is in it now, so and Will Smith is booming now too. Yeah. Could he make over six mil? What you think, Jorge? Yeah, I think again it was Will Fuck Smith. No. You don't think it's gonna make over six? Hell no. I guess Will Smith. I think it is. They gonna make over six? Yeah. What? What was the la- what Bad Boys two make? Could somebody fact check that? I'm looking it up. Look it up now. What's most is like more popping than he's? I ain't gonna say he's more popping than he's ever been, but that nigga's popping, bro. Two seventy. Two seventy. Niggas is going. Niggas gonna rock for him, bro. Mhm. What if it makes six, bro? Just from like, I'm just saying this. This only what I'm going by. I'm going by like people going to go see see movies more now. Like people like they going to go check out the films, really? especially like see, yeah it's, yeah. It's not one of the movies where it's like it's not like a superhero movie. Facts. Or it's, like, or it's not like a John Wick. Right. So, what you mean it's not like a John Wick? It's more bigger than John Wick. No, it's bigger than John Wick, but John Wick is super action based. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's super choreographed. And Fortnite made color. John Wick more popular. Just saying. Huh? What do you mean? Because that John Wick skin. Yeah, the John Wick skin. Wick. Niggas is hop, was hopping on that. Shit. But see, that's oh. the thing though. People in there called it the John Wick skin, but in the game, it's not called John Wick. Skin. Yeah, but it's clearly John Wick. Though. Yeah, but see, only people who know or watch or seen something of John Wick know that that's John Wick. Yeah. It's like the Millie Rock. You're not going to know that's the Millie Rock unless I mean, you've seen it before. I think a lot of, because, you know, Fortnite, Jack, Jack, Fortnite is nothing but kids, bro. And I'm pretty sure all them kids ain't seen John Wick. I just heard, I, I feel like the streamers that they watch, you know, said it was John Wick. the demographic that you're looking at. Because we have someone like my brother who knows... But most of that stuff comes Nigga I'm talking right? about Kids kids nigga What What is kids kids Give me the Bro when I When I hop in a game In Fortnite And I go to uh, Game chat I'm talking about Five Five to nine year olds Yeah The John Wick they skin the What That's what I'm saying bro They know with the John Wick skin And they be like five, Bro Squeakers on squeakers bro. Squeakers on squeakers Call them squeakers Yeah Squeakity, squeak, squeaker. Exactly. But yeah, I'm mute instantly. Hey, no, no mic. <laughs> <laughs> <Body> <laughs> off. 
<laughs> I'm real okay. I'm not going to go see Bad Boys 3 or Wish Hour 4. I don't oh, care. Those are either. instant Skip pirating it. movies. I'm not even, I might even never that's watch if it. I, that's like a little date night type thing in my career. <laughs> yeah. That, that's going to be a watch of like, know, me girl. stealing, bro. I'm trying to go see this. Bro, hey, take it, hey. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> hey, go to go see it, bro. Not at all. Yeah, that's hey, that's a movie that if I go to the theaters, I'll be on my phone while I was, while I was, on, while I was on the big screen. What if it's actually good? Because Bad Boys 1 and 2 trashed to me. I'm sorry. It's actually good? I love Bad Boys 1 and 2. I did not like Just it. for the nostalgia, bro. Mm-hmm. I got both of them on still, but it came both, in the dual pack. You watch both? Yeah. No, because I ain't got a 4K you watched player. Them both before, right? Yeah, I watched them both before. I ain't got a 4K player. As long as you've seen the movies. Yeah. yeah. Those are all the movies I've seen. So what about this Warner Brothers working on the animated Batman Beyond film? Oh yeah, somebody tell me about this. Who knows about animated? Uh, all I saw was that headline. I was reading a little bit of the article because I, cause I think there was like Spider Verse is kind of like starting this new trend for like anime movies being able to be good in theatrical scenes and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, a Batman Beyond film going to the theaters and it's gonna have that serious tone. I feel like it has potential, but it's not gonna do exactly what Spider Man did though. Spider-Man's- yeah, Spider Man's animation was great, but Warner Bros. doing basically, it's, I feel like it's going to be one of those DC movies where they make the DC animated movies that come straight to DVD. I feel like it's going to be like one of them, but on the big screen. Spider-Man but I hope it's not. You watch Spider Verse, right? Yeah. What did you all say about Spider Verse? Spider Verse is is an innovator, bro. It's innovative. Yeah, I mean, but that's why I say it's not. I feel like. It's, but what was you saying about the? I said DC like animations be way better than their movies. Yes, but lately the DC animations have kind of not been tanking, but they've been mid. Back then they were great, but now they're just mid. Why well, I say that? Because the story isn't that strong. You know, it's more based on the comic books. The story is. Yeah, they dropped a lot. They to me they're saturating what they did because back then. Yeah, it was like. Eh, uh, uh, maybe. So what's the last great one? Like my my last favorite one's up. I love Flashpoint Paradox. Flashpoint Paradox. Flash, Flash Point Paradox That's my favorite one. That's my all. last favorite one I watched. Like I watched Son of Batman. Uh, Same. Uh, that was mid. Superman dies. Batman versus Robin. Batman versus Robin was. Uh, it's yeah. not even. It was low grade mid yeah. to me. Like Red Hood and all that shit. Red Hood was, Red Hood was great. Yeah, that's but uh, like I said, like that Reign of Superman. I know they came out with the Death of Superman movie. <laughs> I still, have, I still haven't seen it, but I, I mean, we all know the premise. I seen it. I got it on my hard drive. You got it too. I, I just, yeah, but I got it on Blu-ray, remember? I just it's haven't watched it. Huh? Uh, uh, Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah, yeah but, it's, but these movies are more adaptations from the comic books. That so. nigga Doomsday was unstoppable, boy. That nigga was Hulk. Yeah. Could not this, kill that. And that nigga. one, they actually had the Justice League come after Doomsday first. Yeah. Like they did in the comic books. And then Superman came and Good. got his go whooped. And they had a... Uh, well, but I mean, they just had a new one come out called Reign of Superman, where it's like yeah, a whole I bunch just, of different yeah. Superman. Really? Yeah, there's yeah. like a robot Superman. Cyber, uh, Cyber Superman? I don't know nothing about DC, so. Cyber, I mean, I know there's a rob- half human, half robot I mean, Superman. maybe. I mean, but I he's a yellow man, though. It's, di- it's just different Superman in there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know too much about it. Hey, DC got some good ass. Yeah, they got some good movies, but lately, I feel like they've just okay. been oversaturating it. Lord. Especially the Batman ones and the, the Justice League Dark. I'm like, uh, uh. Right. And the Justice League Monsters and Goblins, whatever it's called. <laughs> I ain't watched it, though. But I mean, I have hopes for this I like Batman DC Beyond better movie. than Marvel, but Marvel movies are way better. Oh, you like? But I mean, Aquaman was good. Huh? You like comic book wise? You like DC more than Marvel? Yeah, because it's a darker story. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like uh. Like, do you like? The I'm DC, not gonna say the like dark DC. T- uh, the D- the CW DC the Arrowverse basically. Yeah, no, you, you watch that. You like the Arrowverse? You Arrow, about- Flash. Oh yeah, I do. Like but it's yeah. like. Alright, bro. Black Lightning, listen, bro. That shit was cool, but kind of corny. I feel like Flash is cool, but kind of corny. I love Flash. I just love the Flash shit. I mean, I love it. But, you know, it has its corny moments. Arrow is like the only thing that's not so corny. You know what I'm saying? They got corny fourth season. It did, but it's it's not, it's not like, after that, it got way better. But, uh, I mean, Arrow is like the only one that's like on a serious note. Everything else is... Oh, happy, uh, corny shit. Of, uh, tomorrow, yeah, I tried Legends to watch the Legend tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, that was kind of corny. Kind of. No, that's the corniest of them all. It's not. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Supergirl, I didn't even count her because Supergirl, she started Supergirl, off with so corny. Bad, bro. Yeah. Supergirl's so bad. And the bad. Superman, I'm sorry, bro, but... He looks skinny. Superman. The pictures I saw of him, skinny. I'm that was a nigga from Team Wolf. Jeez. 
Yeah, he needs to get back over there. Yeah, boy, Mama just boxed this nigga for his performance. <laughs> Mama had that. Yeah, yeah that's Alright, uh, we can either talk about this hip-hop, which is going to be a little lengthy, or we can get to gaming stuff. The gaming stuff will be pretty quick, but, I mean, the hip-hop thing, I don't know how long that'll take. Yeah. Y'all want to hop on there? You want to hop on there? <laughs> okay. Woo. Who changed hip-hop the most in the last decade? We were talking about this earlier at work, because, uh... Well, decade, 10 years, right? Yeah. 09 to 19. Yeah, 09 to 19. Who changed hip hop the most, like the sound and pushed it forward and things like that? Artists they like to talk about. I think Kid Cudi. Boy, Post Malone haven't even been in the game that long. Who you got, bro? Too quick. Who you think? You gonna put Wayne? Yeah. Uh, Oh nine to nineteen. I mean, if it was, oh, what's the car came out? Oh nine. What? Yeah. I think I'll sit I mean, on. I'm not gonna say I don't know, bro. I gotta let me think. Wayne is my first choice, but I didn't really give it no thought process. No. Yeah. What about you, Jorge? Kanye. Mm, good one. Kanye or Kid Cudi? Yeah. Pushing sound wise or cheeky. Yeah. Mm. Sound. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going off sound. Right. But I, I want to say Kanye and Cudi, probably more. In my opinion, I say more Cudi, but more Kanye, because you know, I say more Kanye because you know. Kanye was around still longer mm-hmm. and he pushed it. But I know like with eight oh eight some heartbreaks like changed, but I know Cuddy had a huge influence on that too. But but Kanye is probably the number one. But Cuddy yeah, Sound wise, Cuddy pushed it. Like for people like not to be like well, even though Kanye had that too, but like Cuddy still had like uh the different sound, spacey, just I don't know, I really fuck with Cuddy when he came out. And uh, Kanye never felt made me feel like, um, I don't know, Cuddy spoke to some people that was like outcast to me. Like at the time when me being like a freshman in high school, I didn't really get that much from Kanye like that. Like I, I guess because I, Kanye came out when I was in middle school and I wasn't really into music like that. But Cuddy for me, uh, pushed that for me, made me be like more open to things. Like one, no, me not being open to things, but me more being like out and like letting people know how weird I am. Like, I feel like, I yeah, I feel like Cuddy was our Kanye for, like, 09, you know what I mean? Like, when Kanye came out in, like, 04 and was just him, I feel like Cuddy was just that, that, like, the new sound. And I feel like a lot of artists now that's up, like, our age now, a little above us, they listen to Cuddy, uh, Cuddy because a lot of them listen to Cuddy in college. Our son was in high school or, like, like, Travis and people like that, even though, you know, Kanye influenced these people, too. But I feel like Cuddy had all those little, who? What are you talking about? Soldier Boy. What do you mean about Soldier Boy and Fluid Kanye? Soldier Boy is a big influencer too. What? How? How, nigga? Because he just Come on, bro. How, nigga? Soldier Boy can even produce on the level. <laughs> Soldier Boy had power, nigga. Y'all bugging. That shit was fire. He said he had what? He had power. Oh. Y'all never listen to power? <laughs> yeah, bro. Niggas talking about them nigga, when them niggas ran up in his house, nigga. Put the stabber to his neck from the pizza box. What's the, the hardest? Yeah. 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 yeah, but I just said I feel like yeah. Cuddy pushed a lot, like you know, ASAP Rocky. You he got pushed sound, sound wise. Yeah, I feel like Soulja Boy was innovative, but he. I, mean, I, I was just playing about that. Oh, yeah, I well, I mean, he was innovative though. But it's like with Chief Keith and all. Yeah, they pushed sound, but there was influence too, like influencers. Like that's what I'm saying. Who influenced it? Like. Like, when you look at the rappers to this day, like, looking at, like, a lot of SoundCloud rappers, I feel like Soulja Boy <laughs> had way more influence than them. To them, like, Soulja Boy, like, Little B, Gucci Man, Chief Keef. Like, they had a lot of... Soulja Boy finding Lil B? He said that shit. Nah, he didn't find Lil B when Lil B was doing that shit. It's like, like Soulja... Bands, he, like, made him get his own sound and shit. No, he didn't, bro. No, no. Any, no, because that's bass. Soulja that's the whole I bass mean, thing. Lil B was like, the pack yeah, yeah. he said like after he left the pack like no he, how Lil B rap, rap how how no how Lil B rap is like a spinoff of like base uh culture like how people used to talk uh, act in oakland like in the bay area yeah. like 
Soulja Boy had no influence of that shit. Soulja Boy rolled waves. Like when he came to being with Lil B, he tried to rap like B. Red around, tiny bitch, say my dick tastes like ribs. He was rapping like Lil B. Him being with Chief Keith, rapping like Chief Keith. Him hanging out with all these other people. He was rapping like them. Like he was. Hey, nah, Soulja Boy could He said he found Jesus And inspired him Yeah this nigga say All this shit <laughs> But nah Like influence wise I feel like Soulja Boy had a, Just how people market by But like when it comes to like You know Chief Keith mm-hmm. Spun all these new niggas All these little crazy niggas <laughs> Love Keith And just I don't know Lil B just spun Just not really Saying anything And like blowing up Like just saying shit Just rapping like you know Soulja Boy did that too. Soulja Boy had hits, you know what I mean? But right, Lil B, goat. Huh? Living a positive lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And you gotta protect the mob. Had all his fans saying, you could take my bitch, baby guy. Oh, like, yeah. no, that was take my bitch, baby guy. One concert where this guy actually threw his girl up on stage with him. Yeah. That, that was Danny, hilarious. Nah, bro, have y'all, saw the, the, y'all ever watched the interview with Danny Brown talk about, like, he had a one fan that let his girl have sex with Danny Brown and why he waited in the hotel lobby for her to come out? She was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it." He was like, "Huh?" And then the boyfriend like, "It's cool." Like, <laughs> hey, like, 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 huh? Like, white. nah, you good, bro? White. I think they was white. Cause cool. you know that one girl gave that nigga. That nigga got head on stage before. I thought Danny Brown. Yeah, bro, that shit on YouTube, hey. like, on what, World Star. Uh, Wait till my pussy smell. Say pussy smelling like Cool, cool Ranch Dorito. Hey, Daddy Brown. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey, Daddy Brown, my nigga. I gotta get triple, bro. I gotta I get that on vinyl, bro. That, uh, hey, it be a mad world, bro. I gotta you know, get that. that. I gotta get both of them too. But I've heard old. I like old. Old. I like his best project is the last one though. Uh, Trust the exhibition. The new. Trust yes, Trust the exhibition. That shit is fire, bro. I need to listen to it. Hey, That's just I'm fire. Oh yeah, let's. Me and Shaq, you know, before I got, you know, what I mean. You know, pushed out that owl. <laughs> uh, Shaq, I want you to tell the people why do you want to be a rapper? Come why you want me? What? Why do I have to have a reason? I just want to. Well, talk I feel like everybody it. has a yeah, reason. because he wanted to be a rapper. Let's talk about. It. I need to express myself. Mm. Like how? Like what type of music you want to make, Shaq? Hey, yeah, Glenn Post Malone. Drill. Drill music, boy. What you gonna go dress? Yes. <laughs> You don't see this. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is gonna, gonna be like, bro. It's I'm about to mind. make. Hey, listen. Bro. He gonna add nothing I'm about to be the shit. first nigga to have that Post Malone, Travis sound with drill music. You know what I'm saying? So I'm up, I'm about to be on that smooth coon wave. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be like a very like melodic like hype. Like how are you gonna make that sound? Like you're gonna be yelling, but but like oh no, he's gonna be 88 Glam. That's what he's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, let me let me tell y'all something, bro. Look, 88 Glam, Goats. underrated, bro. Them niggas is hard as hell, bro. See, see. Niggas need to stop hating and yeah. give my niggas them credit. You know <laughs> what I'm saying, bro? Hey, Derek yeah. Wise might sound like Quavo a little no. bit. But, hey, bro, listen, y'all. Y'all need to go check them niggas out, bro. You know what I'm saying? 88 Glam. Hey, yeah. But I'm about to be on that. I'm about to be on that eight. You know, I... I I don't know, bro. I don't you know what time I. Find I ra- yourself like rapping and like making beats. Nah, bro. I like. I feel like when I like sit down and like write, cause I'm not no freestyler. You know what right. I'm saying? If I sit down and write, I can come up with shit. If I actually think about it, you know what I'm saying? Off the top, nigga, I'm speaking straight gibberish. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm gonna be real, but like, I'm, I'm gonna try something, bro. I'm gonna cook up a little project or something, pro- probably. You know what I'm saying? Got my nigga Chase and, uh, I told you I DJ got nothing, uh, I got to do with music, DJ bro. Tev, you know what I'm saying? Music, my producer, uh, Magic Tev. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna be in this scene. <laughs> hey, look out for us, boy. I definitely gonna be an A&R. Boy. Now, what happened, though, like, to the rapping, though? Like, it ain't going nowhere. Now, I'm just saying, I'm talking about, like, Chase, you know? Like, hey, if you see, hey, if you seen Chase, like, last year, though, this boy was a full rapper, bro. <laughs> Hey boy, boy! Hey. Did you hey, did you no? Out. Did you ever hear what you call it? His his auto tune shit. No, <laughs> boy, he never yell shit, bro. No, no, I mean, hey, we, uh, uh, boy, need the Uzi, bro. Okay. <laughs> hey, classic boy. Boy, we I used to be what dying. I had shit? boy Ray, bro. It used to be so fun, bro. Like, that shit about to be they spent that boy in that room rapping, bro. It used to hey, be hilarious. Yeah, they got. That's why all this here. 
they had all that, bro. That used to be funny, bro. Hilarious. But we didn't really get into much about the music, you know, the uh, influence joint. It wasn't, we didn't get too in depth in it, I guess. Mm, we all kind of agree, with, like, who would be probably big influences and it's stuff. I really want to. It's kind of a staple of who's, who's, like, who is an influencer and who's innovative and stuff like that. Even though. I feel like Soldier Boy's innovation has come more to the forefront now since he's been actually listing it. Because mm-hmm. no one has Soldier Boy just like, oh yeah, Soldier Boy always done this. We never really realized that until he brought it to us. No, I did, bro. Oh well, I've been. You I've probably, been jamming. you probably have. You probably, hey, I was jamming the Bernard EP, bro. Louis, Louis. Oh, you keep you know saying it's Louis, Louis. Y'all came. bugging, bro. The old wizard that came with the stone tablet. <laughs> this rapper will do this in this year. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't know it like that. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not telling the future, bro. I'm not that so raven. I ain't having these visions. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not having these visions, bro. I'm just saying, bro. I, I just, I just see, I see things. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, bro. I remember I used to always call out, like. Me and my friends, they used to be like, okay, we should think we'll have oh, like, have no, 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 look, okay, we got a story. <laughs> okay, you got you got the start of January, right? And you got artists that's out. And then you used to be like, okay, out of the artists you heard last year, the last four four months or whatever that was coming out, like, who's going to be the next person that come out? You know what I mean? Like, who's going to be up there? And I'm just saying, like, I, I, I was on a lot of it, you know what I mean? But right I now, do. like, J. Cole, Kendrick. Who else I thought was I thought I thought Mick Mick Jenkins was gonna be the Big guy, bro. I swear I did. Did Isaiah Rashad take his place? Huh? Oh, no, no. no, Isaiah just be chilling, bro. But like I just thought Mick Jenkins had something, bro. Like, but it's just like I don't know what happened, bro. I thought he was gonna be huge. What about Jibs? Jibs. Boy, I never said anything about Jim, yeah, bro. At that time, nigga, I wasn't really into rapping like that. Like, I was a middle school, bro. Hey, Do your chain hang low, hey, nigga? Really that killed that feature on his song, though. I'm not hey, chain hang that. low was fucking lit, though. Hey. Y'all remember oh, the your chain hang hey. short? Oh, yeah. no. Do your chain hang short? Because you got it from Walmart. And you really, wow, nigga? No. <laughs> Y'all remember that, bro? Where that shit come from, nigga? Bro, that shit we used to say in middle school. Bro, Jibs, bro, he had the well, he had that one. I got King Kong in the truck. He he like sixteen, bro. Y'all know that. Jibs was like sixteen, bro. Did Wayne get on that beat? Boy, Wayne yeah. murdered King Kong, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Hey, Wayne is a goat. Boy, Wayne murdered that. I swear. Yeah, sure. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so look, I want to bring this up. So, <clears throat> I had a little argue with argument with uh, one of my buddies at work today. You know what I'm Chris saying? Doug? Chris guy, you know, shout out Chris guy. Uh, so, what y'all think was the hottest? Okay, he's saying Culture Two was the hottest long album that slapped. The longest album that was great. Like he been like like you know long. Track it had like a long whatever. track list. Cause my argument, I was saying Wayne's a goat. You think Carter Five had the best, the longest, best album last year? Like uh, longest. Track? No, I think it was probably Scorpion. <laughs> I'm going Scorpion, bro. Wait, was, was that your no? Culture 2 was one hour and 40 minutes, like, 45 minutes. Damn, bro, that shit. Yeah, bro, like, you be scrolling movie. if you look it's at that shit. Movie, nigga. I don't know, bro. Migos, to me, is just like... Half of them songs sounded like some shit on Culture, bro. Just stripped. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly... I'm sure it was an hour. It was? Yeah. All of Migos' songs, bro, it, it, it just be sounding the same to me nowadays. I mean, hey, Young Bands put like six of his Young Bands volumes together and made a three-hour album. Fire. <laughs> Fire. Man, y'all saw Young Bands put on Twitter today? Twitter. Nigga, somebody, if her nails $50, give her 25k. What? If her nails $25, give her... No, if her nails $50, give her 25k. Listen, I'm, I'm about to be like Rocky. I ain't buying no bitch nothing. You know, I ain't flying no bitch out. Hey, I'm not. But if you become a rapper, are you going to fly a bitch out just to fuck? And then give her a thought, bro. He literally like broke down like what niggas do, cause his niggas do, do some it. Crazy shit. I don't think I'll do that shit. I'm on that Rocky too. No homo. Talk, what Rocky? I said Rocky. Yeah, that nigga's like I ain't never uh, flew a bitch out. I ain't never give a bitch a dime in my life since he's been famous, except for like his mama. Bro. He don't got to. Huh? He's a rapper. Oh, his girl. He just comes. He said he don't get his girl nothing either. I don't believe that. He said he want his girl to take him shopping somewhere. You talking about that Angie Martinez? Was it? No, was it Angie Martinez? I, no, 
I don't know. I know it was a. I know it was, it was a chick, interview. but I know. Yeah, that's what I heard. I know what you're talking about because he was like, I want to get spoiled. I want to be taken out shopping. That nigga sound like a yeah. bitch. Well, there was like, uh, hey, shoot, I want to be taken out like, shopping too. Go good, cause she was like, how you be getting the girls? Then he's like, shit, I'm handsome. Hey, you used to be saying that, nigga, so don't even say he a bitch. Hey, Kevin, I'm pretty, B. Hey, nah, nah, B, I'm was, pretty. Nah, was, I was saying that before ASAP Rocky was saying that. <laughs> nah, nah, nigga. Hell up, bro. Look, look. I never said, I never said I want a girl to wine and dine me, nigga. Like, never in my life. Like, Rocky's like a millionaire, bro. Talking about he want a girl. Well, he gonna have to get a millionaire girl. Do you want to fly a girl out, bro? Really? If it's my girl and she want to come out, not yeah. Girl. Like, no, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not doing it. Hey, I don't dude, think. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up. No, I'm gonna say this. Hey, hey, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, wait, hold up. No, yeah. I'm gonna come to that city. I'm like, hey, babe, just wait till I get to that city. All, all this. No, but look, <laughs> and you gotta look at this, bro. No, why am I doing? I just pay for a million vaginas for free. No, nah, but look, plus we not rich. We don't think you know when you get money, you think on a whole different level. You know that, right? Like y'all gonna be on some other shit. So I ain't gonna say me, Tevin. Now I don't know. Rich, rich Tevin. <laughs> hey, rich Tevin. You never know what rich Tevin to do, bro. He might I fly think him you out. Be on that shit, nigga. Well, fly him out and just no, do. I think nah. you gonna buy girls to rap. Remember in that Boondocks episode when he had a girl when he run the doorbell? Yeah. All she said was "ding yeah. dong." That's yeah. you. That's I do. You. you have girls in cases like it's yeah. the museum. Or yeah, something. but I like, you know you gonna have a whole bunch. Of hey, I, I caught this hoe. <laughs> I caught this hoe in Arizona, you know what I mean? I remember when he was like, man, when I go to the mall, they be taking pictures of me. Now you remember, <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> that? You remember that? You remember that, right? When we was in the break room? Yeah, we were talking about the Oh, yeah, y'all talking about shit. I go to the mall. I don't remember that. Oh, my God. If I was saying it, I was joking, nigga. Damn, damn, I was joking around with you. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's me being a... Yeah. <laughs> I know that's funny though, bro. I said that. Yeah, yeah, I think said so crazy. Yeah, yeah, we know, bro. We know. Bro, <laughs> having to somebody saying, bro, I be just I talking, bro. Me and Chris back then, I was like, yeah, we can't believe everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one fourth of everything you say, it can't be true. No, it's like, not. It's not like, like a. Who is that fourth one? Yeah. Is no, 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 like, <laughs> no. If I say some outlandish nigga, I'm just talking, bro. I like, I like to talk. I just be playing around, bro. Oh my god, bro, that is hilarious though. But hey. It, it, <laughs> But I don't know. I might. What you think, Jorge? You think you'll fly a chick out, bro? Yeah. No. Why not, Be man? real. If it's like Rihanna or something. Nigga, I don't like women. Nigga, Rihanna. Yeah. You don't like women? All right. What about, all right, bro. So. I'm out. You going to fly your man out? Nigga, don't be a fag. <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> like, what if I wanted to see your show and I couldn't, like, because I already missed it? What's up? You gonna, you're not going you're not gonna to send the plane tickets to me? <laughs> oh, I guess that's a no. Come on, we not doing the Jeremiah <laughs> Plane song. Hey, that song's fine. <laughs> I I heard that song. I like do a, not like J Cole's verse. I hate that verse. I ain't hear that song for like a year or two. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't hear that song for like a year or two. It came out. Yeah, I, was like, I like that song hard. I never heard it till one time I was back home and then it was playing. I like. You know how weird that is. Listen to it on the radio. And you're in the car with your mom. Hey, you seen wow. the one video? You seen the one video with a girl? They was listening to the, and her mom was singing that uh, J Cole part. <laughs> hey, she was getting sensual. Nigga. Man, that is weird. She was going crazy. I don't even I remember like, J Cole verse. He talking some nasty shit. Yeah, yeah he was like something. Uh, put it in your yeah. mouth. Somewhere, I'm but like, you gotta remember, like, like, man, it's like a foot is in your mouth. Yeah, y'all, like, gotta, yeah. Know, y'all gotta know, like, our moms had lives before us. Oh, mom, man, bro. Your hey, mom was. Hey, your mom, hey, my mom was. Uh, our like, mom's mic was know. bust downs. We don't know, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. And hey, my grandma said she was. Uh, she was throwing that shit. <laughs> I was like, grandma, <laughs> chill out. Here. Yeah. Oh, oh Spotify. Get, is yeah, stupid. thank you, Spotify. We might get copyrighted one day if this get popping. Nah, hey, we is gonna get popping. I'm just saying they gonna be like, oh, he put that planes on there. But now I'm saying, uh, but everybody had a life, bro. Like people had lives before us. No, Hey, do you ever want to like? So you be thinking about, damn, bro, my mama was giving up that pussy. Oh, no, I don't no. think like that. I'm just All saying. Right, that's no, that's I'm just saying when I was younger, and I got older, and I got to thinking like, yo, my mom was my age. Like, yeah. uh, my my dad was my age. Like, you ever think like, I dang, mean, not, yeah, no, no, dude, you ever like? I right, growing up, no, mama, I'm just saying, you know growing up, I used to love watching Back to the Future. I watched that movie like I don't know how many times. They, so you're gonna I, say what I think you about to say. I always want to go back in time and like see my parents. Like oh, that's all I'm saying. Say Not him falling over his, his mom and no. up liking him. Yeah. No. That was nasty. No. I'm just saying, like, have you ever wanted to go back and just be like, dang. Hey, cute Hoochie Mama song. 
That's what. That's how I think went about my parents. Why, bro? Because that's a, like I think that's like that was like the thing back then, bro. Like the hoochie mama fucking era and shit. Are going back to like uh, the Atlanta? What they had, Freak Nick? Oh, they did. Are you talking about the one yeah. T Pain? Boy, no. You talk, oh, you talking about that's that the cartoon? Yeah, that shit was that fire though. But nah, but I'm just saying, like, bro, like, what if we had a time machine? Like, we can't Why go. Why you want to go see your parents I'm, back then? I'm just saying, like, I just want to see like how they were, cause like, growing up, you hear stories and you see how they treat you. You like, okay, you was my age. So the only thing I would want to experience this is me as a this is me as like twelve or thirteen, always watching Back to the Future. Just my mind frame of how I thought. Like, what if you're like your dad was like, oh yeah, son. Back then I was a gangster. I was selling ki- coke off the boat, all that. But when yeah. you see him in the past, he's Steve Urkel. Right. <laughs> now I'm just saying, like, mom, where's my shit? <laughs> but now sometimes I just want to like, I don't know. At that time, I just was like fascinated with like going, like, fa- you know, just. I would, going back. I would want to experience an era. I yeah, but at that go time, back and see my parents. I just wanted to see. How, I, I'm going by the movie I watched though. I just like, I dang, I love the '80s. My dad. Was, I want to go see that. Movie. I want to go experience the '80s, bro. Like. Full fledged, bro. I don't. Why not? I don't know what was happening back the then. The '80s and the '90s, bro. Like, bro. You, you but can't. since we don't like, I'm saying, is it any movie that that like really? Back to the Future is my movie. Is anything that y'all wanted to do or like live in that world? Or anything? No movie. Temptations like made me want to go back to their time. To the '60s, you bro. Be a nigger, bro. Huh? They gonna call you nigger, 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 nigger. Hey, man. Any movie for you, Jorge, that makes you look like, dang, I want to be in that world? Nigga, not the Temptations. What was yours? They, what? Was, getting, they was getting beat by the police in that yeah, movie. Bro, but they was in the 80s and shit. Too. Nah, I know, but they was older, though. But nobody cared about them. Though. But did you not see how many bad bitches they had in the 60s, nigga? Yeah. You got Motown movie, right? records. What about you? Know I'm trying to think of a movie that had time travel. It don't have to be time just travel, like just a movie, movie that, like, that like, made you like, dang. Like, it could be, it could be a futuristic movie. Yeah. It could be... It's like a movie you want to be in that world or like wanted to experience or do that. Like, you know how we have super, how we wanted to be a superhero? Like, a movie that you wanted to be in. Movie that I wanted to be in? I'm like, damn, I wish I could be in that. Back to Future was mine. I would say X Men, but then I remember Days days of Future Past when they was all getting killed by them Sentinels. So, nah. Yeah, but every movie has that bad moment, but like, what if you don't exist? Like, what if you mess up? Like, I remember watching Butterfly Effect and just being scared of like, like that, like changing my whole thought of like me being in the future. Like, bro, you. Even though back in the future, like you do something wrong, like it ruins the, you know, it the past, it ruins the future type shit. You know how to fix the past, B. You're what you're what Doc said. Doc off said. of Doc and Marty. Boy, chill. I'm not looking <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not. It's, it's like a, a suspense movie. But like, you ever watched that one movie when a dude was getting like surgery and but he was wide awake. But he was like. You know they put him on the anesthesia, but he like he can feel His everything. Eyes, he can feel everything. Yeah, he can that's feel everything. everything. That that kind of like made me scared of like getting surgery. That's like a, what if like they, they didn't they they get surgery this. too? I'm just afraid. Nah, of being nah. What if wake when that shit happens? Nah, what if they give they ain't give you enough doses or whatever to put you to sleep, bro? You just wake up. Yo, ooh, ooh. Hey. Ah. <laughs> that'd be crazy. Nigga, ooh, the, uh. But I never really. I never really been through anything like I never. I don't think I. Only thing I broke was my toe, but like that shit healed. I broke that like twice. Nah, I heard I had a catheter in me one time. The hell is that? That's when they put that tube in me. Remember, I told you I had amnesia. Nigga. That's when I didn't have. Why my, did you do that shit? No, because I didn't have my memory at the time when I was uh. At oh, the you time, time when you fell out. Yeah, when I had when I was kind of like in my comatose state. Yeah. So I couldn't get up or use the bathroom or anything. So. Damn. For me to pee, it went in the tube, so it had to go in there. Mm. But you gotta think, I'll, I'm gonna have amnesia because the other chase or whatever, he felt that pain. I didn't yeah, feel it, so I'm cool. <laughs> he said, they said, they, my mom said that they was pulling it out, and I was just, yeah, I was screaming. Uh, I was, you don't remember nothing. You don't no, feel I'm it. glad I don't. Yet, nah. so I, I, I was in like a, like yeah, I had I'm amnesia. Yeah. Like I had super amnesia type shit. Like that's crazy, bro. Like, I remember all the stuff that well, the, I mean, obviously, but mm-hmm. all the stuff that my parents told me what I did. Right. I don't remember any of that. See, that guy. They, I was now. I didn't. I couldn't even talk. I couldn't, right. Like I, I just had defense mechanisms. Right. I was just attacking everybody in my sight. Right. That got that got me thinking about like the brain, bro. Like, what else you can do with your mind, nigga? I'm trying to do like the hundred percent thing. Nah, but I don't believe that, nigga. You think? Well, I'm not. Like us using only like what thirty percent of our brain or I don't something think like that. We use just thirty percent of our brain. I just feel like the brain is used for different things. Like yeah, it's in different things because us doing this, up, uh, un, up, conscious, subconsciously. Subconscious, yeah, subconsciously us doing like moving our hands while we're talking. Right. We're not concentrating on it, but we're still doing it. That's 
bra- our brain sending signals to us while we're talking to right. stuff. Our brains doing multiple things. That's y'all y'all saw that function. movie though with a uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson when she like hit all percent of her. Oh, like, that's a section, not a section, but uh, uh, Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, it's oh, called Lucy. What's the one? Uh, what's the one you talking about? I'm trying to say that. Talking about limitless. Right? Yeah, uh, limitless. Oh, that's that dude with like the pain. Like no, but this I mean, like, uh, no Lucy. No, nah, Lucy, nigga, she, she just was like basically here. like went to like became air type shit. She just became a part of the world. Like, I don't know. It's like using telekinesis powers. Like, if you put your mind to it, you can do these type of things. I don't know, bro. I, I feel like we use a good amount of our brain. I just feel like some parts of the brain. But See, even though I'm not like a brain tech, I don't know. Now I got something brain. leading to that. What? Do you feel like our body is just like a vehicle for the brain? Just like it uses us? Like, like the brain is us, mm-hmm. but our body is just a vehicle for it. Like we use it to transport. Like, like you know, like in Futurama, mm-hmm. how they have like the heads and stuff cut off, but they still functioning, but they right. have no body until like they put they that little trophy head case on. on so it's like have basically it's like that. Like the body just used for a vehicle. I forgot. I think I was I mean, listening to. The, I, I was even listening to a podcast while I was watching something on YouTube soul, about this. Though. That's the, the best. Soul way. Is the- it's the only thing, right, that have us different from each other. Like everything else is like the same. It's the soul that identifies. Like your soul stays. I thought that's the only thing that's really like the soul of the body. Just well, see, I say that. I say the, I say the brain because the brain has everything. I just like say, our but memories your brain and stuff can like die. That. Like your soul. Really yeah, but our soul can't remember everything, can it? Because our brain is what makes it function. They say, yeah, they say when you go to heaven, but you, uh, who you, yeah, are. like you won't know who your parents are and stuff like that. Y'all believe that? I mean, that's yeah, I what we're talking. I'm not. I'm not talking about. If you want to get into it, we can. I ain't talking about religion. Though. I don't know too much about religion, but I'm not talking about. I'm not getting deep into religion. It's fine. It's fine. Leave that shit out. <laughs> I'll walk out the door. Why do you like talking about religion? All right, uh, I like to see other views. Yeah, right, bro, you, you hit her. Yeah, let's move on. I like real to see other views, but um... one of my homies, she like in the comics. Mm-hmm. She was like, "We don't talk about comics on here," so. I'm, I'm going to try this out this week, see if right. anybody say anything. Let's talk about a few of them real quick that I've been peeping or whatever. Does yeah. anybody here watch, com- I mean, read comics besides what here? Don't Chase read? I, mean, I don't think no, Shaq read them. I haven't, I haven't been reading them lately, no. Yeah. No. So like, it, I don't read them, but I'll listen to comic story real quick. and read right. them, basically. Oh, that white dude? Yeah. I listen to the black dude, he cool. Who? His name like Rob. Comics Explained, something like that. Oh, Comics Explained. Comics Explained. Oh, yeah. I used to, used to watch them shits as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, I do. Right, do so y'all recommend that to anybody who doesn't want to read it? But kind of hey, bro, yeah, listening I, to comics I, I, is way he better. He explains like a lot faster. And he shows the books. The, yeah, he shows, yeah, he shows some of the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah I used to watch it, but I wasn't sure if I felt yeah. like a real comic book fan if I was just like just watching it. Or listening Going to into your segment. All right, so a couple things. Uh, she actually put me on to Deadly Class. So Ooh, Deadly Class. It's this comic about this nigga that uh, was it a manga? Nah, no, it's this. It's they, but they have into yeah. his book, parents, book form. His parents like fucking die, or whatever, and he trying to kill Ronald Reagan because it's his fault. Mm. And he get like put in his school with a bunch of kids who like they like training to be professional right, criminals. Right. And they just started a show for it. That's like a oh, this, when the school? show could drop it, I heard some about the that. show came out in December. Is that like a oh, it's already out? No, nah, it's not like that. Wait, sh- question. You say he's trying to kill Ronald Reagan because Ronald Reagan is the reason his parents died? Yeah. So is he going back to the past to do this? Or no, is this, this Ronald takes Reagan place is current? This oh, takes it takes place in 1980. So he's still living with it. Yeah, so basically, Ronald Reagan killed his parents. Ronald Reagan's still no. living. No. No. All right. Uh, this is a spoiler for like the first issue, the first like 20 minutes of the show. His parents died because like a crackhead like killed him. And the crackhead's only around in his mind because mm-hmm. Ronald Reagan brought drugs into America. Okay, makes so sense. So he wants to kill him for that. Hold up. Hey, Reagan hey, hey, in the show, is the crackhead black? Uh, nah, I don't even remember. I don't think they showed him yet. Uh, Actually, no, they showed him, but they made it into a comic where it's the, like, it's actually the comic that's animated. It. So what you think about the show? Is the show either good as a comic? Because I know it about the book. The show? Is it a motion comic? No, it's a show. Oh, it's a show. real people. It's, okay. uh, fucking Wang from Infinity War. He's like the headmaster in this shit. No, I'm saying, is the show good? Yeah, the show's really good. Cause like, I know the book is really. Good. Uh, they only had two episodes out so far, but that shit is nice. Yeah. What's so, it? What's it air on? It's on Sci-Fi, but you can watch it on like Hulu. Mm-hmm. Usually. I'm. A, I guess I'll check that out. But yeah, yeah uh, if you haven't read a series, you know, go read that too. It's like almost finished, I think. <laughs> yeah, I do about that for a while. But yeah, uh, then since Guardians of the Galaxy three probably not coming out, 
like at all. Might as well. They started a new series of like the comics. It has some new niggas in it. That's just kind of nice. Like they just put the first one out mm-hmm. last week. I showed like Chase some of it because we was like studying when I was reading it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the nigga who writing like Venom right now, which that shit is hard too. But yeah, Venom series. Yeah, nah, he changed his origin about him. Like, it's a fucking symbiote god in there now. Nigga named, like, no, That shit's hard. Is this, like, what Earth is this on? For, this like, is on Earth. Earth? Like, yeah, Venom, yeah, Venom got me back into, like, I didn't read comics for, like, two or three years. Then I read Venom, and I've been back ever since then, because that shit is real hard. Like, they brought Eddie back, because, you know, uh, fuck, who's his name? Flash Thompson, he yeah, was Venom Thompson. for, like, Oh, uh, he was years. Agent Venom, wasn't he? Yeah, now that nigga's dead now, so yeah, Eddie's Eddie back. Brock. Wait, is this post anti venom or yeah? Pre-anti-venom? He's dead now. Wait, no, no. Eddie, anti- was, Eddie was anti venom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is this yeah, post anti venom? Yes, post anti venom. That was like four years ago. No, I was just making sure like this is in the same. No, yeah, part. it's the same continuity. Oh, okay. this is changed. That everything that I'm person. saying, talking about right now, was like in our continuity. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Venom is good too. Guardians of the Galaxy is slow so far, but that shit was cool. And I started reading that just because since that movie's probably never coming out, this is the only way you're going to be able to, like, see what these niggas is doing. I wonder what the game, the tell, tell, the tell, tell, tell game is like. Oh, that shit is trash. Is it? Yeah, it's oh, boring. The All them I Telltale like games, trailer. they're mostly boring. Yeah. All the ones I like is, like, Mortal Yeah, me, I only really, really like Marvel shit now because the DC shit's kind of boring to me. But uh, they got this shit called Heroes in Crisis right now. It's like they new event or whatever. Fuck that event, first of all, because they killed that nigga Wally West. That's the real flash. Oh, Wait, Wally. where's a uh, where's a uh, Barry's there? Yeah, he's alive. How how old is he? Like he, the difference between the ages? He's like ten years older than him. Okay, but I mean, it's the white Wally, black Wally's around still. Mm-hmm. But that nigga's trash. And he's black. He's black. Facts. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Heroes in Crisis. That shit just came out. My roommate reading it. He told me it was good. I know a lot of niggas have said it was trash. So I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. But. Yeah, just a couple more things. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Candy X Men, like the main X Men shit that came back this year. From it just Candy was like in the eighties and nineties, right? It's been going. They just had like, all right, let me do this. Uh, the X Men they always got like five or six comic books going at the same time. They, they have was, Astonishing. Well, uh, Astonishing is going right now. Mm-hmm. That shit's straight, but it's not really doing nothing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the main X Men book right now is Uncanny X Men. Mm-hmm. But they also have. Mr. and Mrs. X, which is about Gambit and Rogue. <coughs> they like married. It's that bad. shit's hard. Nah, I kind of like it. Wait, let me, let me catch that back. But, uh, like uh no, I say get that out of here because I don't like the. But yeah, the nah, they had a bunch. They had like X Men Red. It's like X Men Team where Matt. I'm not making it. What's her name? G Gray is in charge. My mm-hmm. roommate's been reading that. He told me it was good. I'm probably peep. But yeah, y'all heard about that uh, that bullshit Marvel did a while back? Oh, uh-uh, what? All right, so they went to the past, to the 60s, and they got, like, the main five X-Men from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Who who, was, who went to the past? Uh, Oh, Cable. Oh, okay. And he brought them back. So now, for a while, it was, like, the teenage versions of, like, Cyclops and Jean Grey and them was, in a few, was here, like, fighting crime. Because mm-hmm. you know Cyclops is dead right now. Right. Yeah, so anyway, they sent them back, and then Uncanny X-Men started. I think I talked about it one time. Y'all know who Nate Grey is? I, you know about Age of Apocalypse, like the, is that, the, that the shit? Sun? Yeah. Yeah, that's the son of Gene Gray right, now. Right. Yeah, right. All right, so that nigga, all right, so that nigga's a hero, right? Normally. Right. Right now, they did this event where this nigga's like coming back. He's like turned himself into Jesus. What? Yeah, he has like four horsemen, but they're like horsemen of like good things. And he's trying to take over the world or whatever. <laughs> Wait, so is he like kind of like the opposite of horseman. Apocalypse? Yeah, because he, yeah, that's why this new shit instead of Age of Apocalypse. It's called Age, Age of, of X Men. Oh, that's um, Age of Nate. Nah, yeah, that's that X Men <laughs> yeah. that me and Shaq was arguing about that one day. But uh, remember, you said he wasn't a real X Men or whatever. It was when Stan Lee died. And we had this discussion about like. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that shit's going right now. I'm fuck with that shit heavy, but nigga, I'll tell you after this. Right. Or actually, I'll explain it right now. All right, so Shaq, you know about Age of Apocalypse, right? That's like this event where Apocalypse is in charge of the world. Mm-hmm. So, you know who Mr. Sinister is? Yeah. All right, so he took, like, Jean Grey and Scott Summers' DNA and, like, put it together and made a kid. Mm-hmm. And it had, like, it's like, nigga got, like, telepathic power. All this, all them, you know, all them, bu- about, like, yeah, you the- know all them bullshit powers they be giving to X-Men when they want them to be real strong? 
nigga could like change reality and shit pretty much right you know, we was talking about like Dr. Manhattan and, and different OP yeah and so brought, I think that's brought, yeah that's Nate Gray he's the son of Jean Gray and uh, Cyclops and I think he was like that but he yeah like thought, from what Chase said he was out of continuity for a while he was like in another universe Nate Gray yeah he only was around for like two years but anyway that nigga's back now yeah and Kanye X-Men X-Men been trash for a while I think Probably because, like, you know, the uh, Marvel didn't have the rights or whatever, so mm-hmm. they made them niggas trash on purpose. Right. But, yeah, them niggas, shit is hard right now. Yeah, that's that's right now. Hey, uh, look up Age of X-Men real quick. You see that nigga? He kind of look like Jesus. You say a- who? Age of X-Men. Oh, Age of X-Men. But, uh, yeah, and then one more. Just had to do this for my roommate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's this new shit called Immortal Hulk out. You remember mm-hmm. how when the Hulk first came out? I'll tell you the reason, because it's right. kind of like horror and shit. Right, right. Yeah. But you know how when X, I mean, when Hulk first came out, that nigga, he only turned into the Hulk at night. Mm-hmm. They brought that back. Oh. But now this nigga's like actually immortal. Like they blast him with a fucking supernatural ray shit. It's like, it's like, yeah, it's as strong as like a nuke and it's like in his mouth and it doesn't even kill this nigga. Wow. So yeah, right now it's just him. It's like horror type shit. Right. I really fuck with it. And what it's called again? Immortal Hulk. Mm. It's by this one nigga that my roommate told me about, but. Yeah, if somebody else uh, f- fuck with these, I'll do more. Yeah. I don't really read that many comments, but I know a lot of people who do now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, shout out to my niggas. Thanks. And uh, I guess we can move on to games uh, if y'all want, because I don't really got nothing to say about that. Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, nah, bro. Read the, read the first one if you want. I'll even hook you up with, like, an app if you want to read it. <laughs> I never really had comic book apps. I had, like, a lot of manga apps. Sorry. Like, I started reading... Comic books on my heavily since uh, like 2013 14. That's yeah, like when I stopped I, reading that much comics. But me I and Chase, I reading comic books when whenever the first Avengers came out, I stopped reading that. Right. Like that. But like two years ago, me and Chase was heavily like going to like, remember we was going to like comic book stores and getting right. comics and stuff. See, I got remember a couple I told of, you I used to buy comics up here too. Because I was collecting a lot of the, the like Black uh, Panther, like of the new, the t- what's his name? Uh, Tennessee and Coates. Yeah, Tana Hishi Coates. He is. Because I was, uh, I was getting all his. I have more. I gave some to my nephew. I got like this one. I hey, got another bro. one. Yeah. All right, Tevin got yeah. Black Panther number seven. Oh, you got yeah, it. yeah. You I got, got a variant edition. Mm, yeah. I had this joint, that I one, I and I had the J Cole Born Center of Nova. Oh yeah. And I had more, bro, but I gave some to my nephew. Oh, I never opened the Runaways. Right yeah, the Runaways. I like that coming. Oh yeah, Runaways season mm-hmm. two is pretty good too. If y'all oh, the season two it. got good. Yeah, because I wanted to get into it. You know what I mean? But yeah, I had I had some more runaways too. But I gave to my nephew. I gave him like probably like eighteen comics, bro. Cause I had like I was, I was getting all the Han Solo shits too. They was alright. I just was getting them just to check them out. But yeah. that's probably the last time I was really reading comics too, though. Yeah, one good thing about comics, at least right now, for right now, is getting like one is like it's like a dollar or two dollars. Yeah, they so not, it's not like. That's why I was into when I was younger, cause it's like a really expensive, inexpensive yeah. hobby. Unless you just read a bunch of shit, but. Cause I remember at my local, uh, like, at our store in Harlan's in my in my town, bro. Like, they just had a combo for like eighty five cent to like a dollar twenty five or whatever. They used to just be over there, and I used to just grab them, whatever. My grandma would buy them. I don't even think sometimes I just think I just walk out with them joints. Yeah, I think that's probably why I don't really like comic book movies that as much now. Like, it's I like you've been oversaturated, or like you just been nah. Now that a lot I'm like, comics. yeah, if you watching them but you don't read comics, them shits are cool. You know what I'm saying? But. If you comic read in comic, more, yeah, they get more in depth. So maybe yeah. like it's more there, and then the comic book movies just like that's how it was when we were yeah. like, anime. Like I was reading, I think like two. I was into like I was reading a lot. That's me. Oh, that's probably me. I was reading a lot of manga, bro. And like I think that kind of took off like me not uh, watching as much uh, anime because a lot of the mangas I was reading at the time didn't have no anime for them. Like and plus like it's like when I started uh, read, I started reading Tokyo Ghoul before like. Uh, the show came out and I know like a lot of stuff in the show the show the first season of me is like my it's a really good season but I feel like some of the stuff that was like it didn't really go in depth like I like gritty shit and some it got gritty in Tokyo Ghoul but it could have got like nastier bro like I don't know I just feel like sometimes they leave some stuff gritty. out yeah I just feel like yeah, sometimes no, it, stuff. It, you read Attack on Titan uh, manga I read, I, I read Tokyo Ghoul I said you read Attack on Titan manga yeah. that shit's fire I ain't saying the show ain't fire I like the show I only watched the first season but the mango. You know what's gritty? What? That Baki. 
Baki. Oh, oh the I always bring up Baki the grappler. Bro. Hey, that shit is good. Bro, you that shit is bloody, nigga. How was season two of uh, Punisher? Y'all finished it? I haven't, I'm start, halfway, I haven't, I haven't started it. I'm halfway through. It's, it's it, alright. It's not as good as season one. Right. Hmm. And there with season four? I mean, yeah, four. Season three was good. I mean, three, my bad. Oh, season three, that's probably the best, like, Netflix season. Right. They are, like, dead over season one. Yeah, dead over season one. I ain't, I ain't seen three yet. I had to get to it. Three is good. It's Stop. just that I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, but the ending, it kind of, it makes you wonder. I'm going to say yeah. that. It makes you wonder how the show is going to keep going on. Right. But until, like, some of the gaming, like, any nobody play Resident Evil 2. Right? Nope. I, I canceled played my pre You played it? How is it? Uh... I'm getting it, but I don't yeah, no, I was telling my homie when I went to his house to play it. I never played any of them games. Because my mom didn't, she ain't let scary, ho- like, scary games in the house. I mean, we still had some, like, Haunted Mansion and shit. But, yeah, she never wanted us playing them games because she thought they was demonic or whatever. Like, my grandma wouldn't let me watch yeah. uh, Harry Potter, bro. Oh, yeah, we didn't watch that. I'm kind of glad I didn't watch it because that shit sucks. But, yeah, no, nah, that game is pretty fun. It it moves good, like well too for a game that's that old. That's that old. Yeah, but like I said, did they oh, change some of the cam- Resident Evil Two oh, the remake? Yeah, they changed the characters. They changed, yeah, the whole remake. Like they made it over the shoulder. They made it just. They used what about the dialogue? Side. I never really got into the dialogue because some of the dialogue in the first film. I mean, oh, they was hilarious, bro. Yeah, they like redubbed a lot of. What that. about like some of the stuff they were saying? Like it's points that is just had me dying, bro. But um, uh, Chase. I said, I mean, uh. Shaq only one plays Kingdom, the Kingdom Hearts three. So, yep. you want to get into that? Lit. I mean, I mean, there's nothing. I'm not as far. I'm not that far. But I'm just saying, like, you know, what? Oh, it's just a feel. Well, like, uh, number one, it feels way better because like you're moving faster. It's not as clunky as like Kingdom Hearts one or whatever. How's the colors? Uh, Very vibrant. Very out. Hey man, the, look, the graphics is on point, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, if you if you visit uh. Place? No, what's that shit called? I saw, was, I saw, uh, uh, Traverse Town. What's up, dude? Javante Planet. Yeah, Javante was playing. I think it's Traverse Town or whatever. That's like the first town, like where uh, Donald, Goofy, and Sora met or whatever. Oh, Traverse Town. Yeah. So like, if you look in the past games, that it, it's empty as hell, right? right? Nobody there, bro. Like it's complete. It's a town and it's supposed to have people, but nobody. But you know there. how it is back then. They didn't want to add too much. I know, but like, I mean, still enjoy. other games they would have. NPCs, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, NPCs be like... Now, now that shit is like... It's yeah. <laughs> it's full with people, bro. It's like an active-ass town, yeah, bro. It's very lively. It's lively. And I'm like, bro, this is Traverse Town, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is way better, man. Like, uh, just the attention to detail, man. Like, when they switch different worlds, like, it just looks like... Mm-hmm. Like, if you go to the... uh, If you go to, like, Toy Story, right? Mm-hmm. Look just like the toy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like... You go to uh, the Rap- I mean Rapunzel, that whole little thing. You look the same because it's already like the same graphics or whatever. But it looks like it's it's you watching the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like Rapunzel looks like, bro. I'm watching the animated film right now. Or if you go like you to Toy Story, movies CGI too. Yeah, yeah. So it's that's, also it that's looks kind of perfect for it. It's perfect, bro. Like it, bro. It looks exactly like if you. Watch the Toy Story. Yeah. Look, bro, I'm like, just like, like watching South Park on the South Park game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. South Park, yeah, that shit funny. Question: If I haven't played the other South, South Park, if I haven't played the other Kingdom Hearts games, would I like this game and enjoy this one? Not necessarily like me going into it for story, but gameplay wise. Like I mean, the reason why people like Kingdom Hearts, anyways, is from number one, it's is nostalgic. You know yeah, what I'm saying? How I'm Number two, uh, the story is real complex, but like back then, you can still follow it. You know what I'm saying? Like you only had Kingdom Hearts one, and then that came out with all the other games, which is it's all ties in together. So I mean, uh, you, boy, if you if you like if you like adventure games and like RPG games, uh, RPG games as it is, mm-hmm. you'll like it. But, like, while you playing it, it's going to make you want to go back and, like, review the other stories. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't think you have to play the other games to get the story because on that game, it comes with, like, uh, memories. And you can, it, you know, takes you through the whole story. Right. It's, it's, like, two, it's like two minutes of uh, memory. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to hold you, bro. Like, I played Kingdom Hearts back in the day. You, I, I, I don't remember them stories, bro. For real? 
Nah, bro. Cause like I never I like a lot of too. people, but a lot of people revisited or played it at like a oh, older yeah, age. Yeah. A lot of people. Like I ain't played what Kingdom Hearts. When it come out? When Kingdom Hearts two come out? I was young, bro. Like I was, I was a kid. Too. I'm saying I don't like games where I, I really. It's like the first time I play a game, I yeah. really don't pay attention to the story. But like when I'm like when I got older and I revisit the game or something like that, I can I can follow the story, bro. Like only story, like I bro. San Andreas was the first story I followed playing that bitch through because I was I was in the sixth grade or something like that. Like I just sixth, seventh grade. The only like, story game I followed was uh Tenkaichi and I already knew that shit. Yeah, but we knew all that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh I mean I think people like the game just you know, if you just want to go pick it up and buy it and play it, I mean you can learn the stories through the game anyways, but uh you'll just miss out on like uh, you know, the nostalgic feel and just like the feeling of you just like playing it while you was a kid, because everybody—that's how they say—they feel like, oh man, it feels like I was innocent and playing with my friend, us taking turns, and it, you know, just the nostalgic yeah. stuff, bro. So basically, if you're not in the Kingdom Hearts, you won't really get the. the I mean, obviously. The I mean, if game. you love the story, you know, you know what I'm saying. It's like a. I didn't. Story. I didn't play it. The nigga who created Kingdom Hearts doesn't even know the story. Who no more? He does know the story. They were asking him about the story and he was getting shit wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, dog, I mean, shoot. Shoot you know, all over whatever. the place. It's not all, the story's not all over the place, but everything connects, bro. But You played all the Kingdom Hearts games? I played, I didn't play the first one that much. Yeah. Because, like, once, I, Kingdom Hearts 2 was my first game, bro. You know, and I went back and played Kingdom Hearts 1, but it's just like, bro, it's clunky, bro. Like, the gameplay, it, it, it's still good, but it's just not as good as Kingdom Hearts 2. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom Hearts 2 was like a re revolutionary for the Kingdom Hearts series, bro. And that's like everybody's oh, favorite I game. I had this on my PSP, bro. <laughs> that, yeah. I had this bitch. Uh, uh, Birth by Sleep. Oh, that was, that was one of the best uh, Kingdom Hearts games, too. I had this shit, bro. Barely played this shit. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, bro. The game, the game is like great. It. Cause we, that's when we re got those PSPs, bro. I like, a, I think I was a sophomore, nigga. And uh, yeah, and me and my homeboy, and better on console. Me and my homeboy, and then we had them joints. Cause uh, I had like three PSPs in my lifetime, bro. I had one in fifth grade, then it got stolen, then I ended up getting another one. And in high school, I ended up getting the same. I had a fat one. I used to have a thin one. I came across a fat one, you know, one of my niggas, you know, Robin. I don't know. But anyway, they ended up getting one, and we were swapping. We were swapping games. And I played that shit. It's like me playing the Final Fantasies at that time that was on PSP. Like, a lot of games. Boy, I had the Midnight Club on that joint. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. Hilarious. That's crazy. Kingdom Hearts was trash, bro. Kingdom Hearts 3? I heard it's bad, bro. Like, that shit got like what a 60. Bro, I'm joking. Nigga. I'm just trying to get you hyped. Uh, this nigga fit a good like nigga. Bro, nigga, this nigga fit out. You see this nigga, bro? I saw that I'm like, bro, I'm just joking, bro. I was just joking around, bro. Says no Kingdom Hearts slander on the podcast. Boy, for the boy, got the boy hop, boy hop to the fence. Hey, which one you love more, Post Malone or Kingdom Hearts? Boy. Well, I got another question for Shaq. Kingdom Hearts. What's up with your boy Sonic Fox? Seen that nigga lost. Yeah, he did. Hey, nah, he put on there. Uh, I'm gay. No, his tweet was like, I'm gay. I'm also the number one uh, player uh, in, and bio? yeah, uh, no, nah, right. no, nah, it said GBFZ. Someone said, "Oh, now you're just gay." <laughs> uh, he, he unpinned a tweet that said he was the best player in the world. Yeah. 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 No, but remember that one person quoted it. Oh, now you're just gay. Hey, bro, Sonic. Hey, look, Sonic Fox, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot, bro. I forgot. I'm not. I, I. I don't. I didn't watch it, bro. I didn't watch it. But, bro, Sonic, bro, that nigga is. Still the best fucking fighting game player in the yeah, world, he bro. Beat the dude again, he beat him before, but I mean, you never know, bro. Fighting games is like sports, bro. It's just like anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? One wrong mess up, one one wrong guess, over, so, bro. Fox, not the perfect he ain't the perfect fighter. Hell no, nah, bro. Like this nigga, bro. Listen, he was king of MKX, and even though he had he didn't play that much, he got wiped out by this his, uh, nigga named uh, Ninja Killer. OP, bro. Ninja Killer beat this nigga 32 times. Sonic won like five times. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that nigga's still playing, so whatever. But Sonic. Sonic Fox is inspiration to you, Shaq? Nah. 
I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say he's my inspiration, bro. But like, I mean, I just I would like to get into you know competitive tournament scene for fighting games. And I say I can. Start, bro. I know, but like you know, the thing is, you gotta fly out to places unless they do like uh, they be having Dallas tournaments, bro, like big ones. But I mean, maybe one day, bro. Just like whenever I get like all my shit together, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah. The, I, I don't like Sonic Fox. I like him, but I don't like him because he, bro, that's his biggest thing. I, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay. He, that's, bro, that's like his biggest argument. You know what I'm saying? He's a furry. Nigga, that's still gay. Yeah. Like, being a furry. is being a furry gay? Bro, being a furry. I thought it was just a weird thing. No, I, I thought being furry was being gay, bro. Being a furry, that's why he wore that like, furry Sonic hat. He wore a whole suit, can't not you a, be a hat. Can you be a man doing a girl furry? Huh? Can't you be a man furry doing a girl furry? You can. Oh, hello. No, not- I don't want to have this discussion, bro. This just sounds sus. It is sus. This is a no sus. Gay, cast. Bro. Y'all very- this is a no sus. Cast. Cast. I don't know. I didn't bring up Sonic Fox. I didn't bring up Sonic Fox. I'm going to ask you if I lost. Really quick update on Spider Man on uh, PS4. They got a free update uh, giving you the bombastic Bagman and a future foundation uh, suit. Hey, a lot of people are. Especially since uh, Insomniac I is, play. I feel like Insomniac is doing great Bro, with what can you the do content. After you beat the story mode. Beat the story mode some more. <laughs> That's what I did with Batman. I beat Batman Arkham games like six times each, probably. At least four times. That's, each. that's why I like competitive games is because once the story is done, it's done. But see, that's the thing. They gave they gave they give you DLC them. for extra story. They I did mean, like after all that, bro. The only game I can I can like continuously play. It's Borderlands with like some shit like that. Is that a story based game? Borderlands is a story based game. All right then. That's the only game. That's what I'm saying. That's the only game. No, that's the only games I'm buying around now. You got Kingdom Hearts. What about Kingdom Hearts? Nigga, I'm not gonna keep replaying it over and over again. So then, what was the argument here? <laughs> you said, what's the point of ga- what? What is the point to oh. uh, continue playing a story game after you beat it? That's what I'm saying. Well, some people haven't even got it yet. They just put content out. There's people like me who no, have, no but see look there's people like me who haven't played the new game plus. Okay, I'm saying after you beat it and all that shit. Like why do you want to go back and just like isn't that That's just like me saying why should you buy a single player game instead of renting it? I mean that's, that is true. That's all PS4 games though. What? They all like story driven now. I mean yeah. But PS4 has the same amount of uh multiplayer games that Xbox has. Xbox has like one or two exclusives that nobody really plays. Nigga, Cuphead won like three games of the year awards. I mean, yeah. It's not like 2006. There's, there's no game like Cuphead. 2016. <laughs> yeah, there's a game like Cuphead. Get Mr. Game Awards. Like, Nigga, that's, that's a whole different system. But yeah. But I'm just saying, that was my thing. If you don't like single player games, just rent them. Or get them when they're 20 bucks. Yeah, Especially but, if you... But King of Hearts is just like... But it's a single player game. I don't I know, but it's still like, bro, like a childhood game, bro. That's like probably how like I am with my Spider Man game, PS4. Yeah. I've been waiting since like Spider Man two and three mm-hmm. for another Spider Man game like this. I play Spider Man two and three, but I just don't care about Spider Man. I don't like Spider Man. Well he's my favorite superhero, so hey. trash. Trash. Hey. Trip. Web slinging hero looking at boy. We got uh one more thing to hit on this docket. Uh the new DBZ game, the RPG, and the uh, Fighter Fighter uh, Z DLC. I don't care about that. Fighter, what happened in the uh, Fighter Z? Jiren was at it. Jiren, Jiren Videl. Uh, oh yeah, we talked about. We saw that. Last was, yeah, Sunday. we never talked, but we didn't talk about Who it. Who cares about Videl though? Yeah, you know I don't play. I don't watch this shit. Uh, I'm about the, the RPG one, but I don't know if I play along. Cause bro, to be honest with you, bro, I don't you, even know. Cool bro. bro, I got to level like 56 and gypped. On what? On Nina Kuni too. I had fun playing it, but it's like I really wanted Dragon Quest. You didn't finish the game? Nah. As Jamonte did borrow Dragon Quest. He didn't finish it. I wanna buy I buy it myself mm-hmm. whenever it like drop. That's what I'm gonna start doing. I like I'm not that big of a game anymore. Only games I'm copping ga- day one because I am a casual at the moment is two K bro. I'm sorry. I just like that's to play two K bro. That's the second time. That's my favorite that's my favorite RPG. <laughs> Madden now sells 2K? I think 2K number one now, bro. 2K I, has a whole community, YouTube community, bro. bro. I, was, I thought 2K would outsell Madden. Yeah. Just yeah, based yeah. off of the reception. Yeah. Yeah. But those are the top two Kuhn games. Yeah, of they course. were the third and fourth, the highest selling games of the year. 
I think FIFA. Everybody gonna buy two K. I think FIFA is like, like a universal YouTuber sports game that a lot of people like to play. And you know how much clout you can get off two K uh, YouTuber? A lot. Why don't you try and get some clout? Well, I'm not. I don't like two K, bro. That shit's boring. But don't you like clout? Nigga, who don't like clout? You like clout? Depends on what type of clout. Okay, I'll say the same thing. Depends. Boy, this is fire, nigga. Yes, it is. Mine is still the package too. Yeah, I ain't. But uh, does anybody have anything else they want to get? Oh. Quick news, I saw uh, the the Matt Reeves Batman that's supposed to come out that was supposed to have ba- Ben Affleck. Well, not have Ben Affleck. <laughs> it's supposed to be based on like a younger Batman. They said the last Ben Affleck uh, little cameo is going to be in that uh, Birds of Prey shit. Yo, that movie looks like trash. I think we're going to end the podcast. It was like right? a little ass fucking, it was, like, it was like a teaser, bro. What you mean? It was four women. Nigga, yes. Birds of Prey. You want to see a superhero movie about women? You saw Wonder Woman, didn't you? Boy, not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nigga, that was a good one. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll be the 1423 TV podcast. Uh, uh, we're available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, YouTube. We also have a Reddit now, just to have one. Uh, also, it can create discussion, too. Mm. And it kind of helps. I, that. I didn't even know yet. I, I know I just made it yeah. this week. I, I still gotta work on it. But uh you know something to work on, you know. That way no one can say that we're not in the co- we're not able to get a hold of or ask us questions or anything like that. Um any closing thoughts for anybody? You have closing thoughts for me? What's the Reddit call? Fourteen twenty T V. That's that's just a profile. Remember I can't make the subreddit until thirty days old. My closing thought is Stay black. What if I don't want to? Hey, you getting lost, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Soft Malone out. That's the end of the podcast.